Well, hello everybody! Here we go! We're gonna do a uh, Isaac Repentance tier list. This is updated for 1.7.5 patch. So that's gonna include three other items uh, that was added into the game. Looks like everything's going pretty well. I got some background music going on. I might turn it down just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit, just have some ambient noise. Oh, we're gonna update Steam here. I don't think it's gonna... Okay, it just stays on that screen, cool. All right, let's get started. So the first item we got here is Sad Onion. Uh, let's see here. I say Sad Onion would be in the A tier, because typically with Sad Onion, like, it's a pretty good tier zap. And it helps with, you know, especially with low end characters and stuff like that, with having the low tier rates, that still works pretty well. Is this thing like popping up here? Let's see. No, it's not. Okay, cool. I just want to check here. Now, this is triple shot, right? I'm going to put it in the C tier. See, is there only a D tier on this, huh? Wait a minute, can we add another tier? Add a row below, yeah. Let's add a row below. We'll call this the F tier. Yeah, there we go. I say a C because while Tripper Shot can be very good, it decreases your tiers rate. So it's not always ideal. Okay, let's see here. Now we got Spoon Bender. Spoon bender, let's see. I'm gonna put it at a B tier, cause it's still pretty good. It, I mean, it's really good with like brimstone, mom's knife, certain items like that. It's pretty good with tracking. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know if it's improved since Afterbirth Plus. Maybe it has, I, I think it has, but yeah. Now, Cricket's Head, I'm going to put in the S tier because it's a huge damage up. Um, pretty good static damage up. And, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much what it is. It's just a, sta it's a damage up. Now, my reflection... I'm going to say a C tier. It's pretty good when it comes to, like, range. And see, it ranges shot speed, I think it does. And it's a huge range upgrade. The downside is, of course, is reflective tears. It's gonna come back at you. So if you have something like Ipecac or whatever, it's gonna be kind of problematic. Now, number, I think this is number one right here. That's a huge tears up. I put it in the B category because it's a huge tears up, but the downside is it's a huge range down. And then you got Crown of Thorns, which has got like a damage and some other multipliers. So that's pretty good. Now, uh, Blue Baby here, or, or Brother Bobby, it's not really great. It's, uh, even though he's been a little bit more approved with uh, Repentance and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's not that great. I mean, it's very helpful when it comes to create something like conjoined, but that's about it. That, or if you get BFF, then you could probably get him to be something better. A little better. But, I mean, he's also good too for like self, you know, sacrificing him. Now, this is the mall again. I say mall again's at a B. I mean, if it was like the old mulligan from like Afterbirth Plus, I would give it like an A or something because you get a lot more flies out of it. It's still pretty good. There's no question about it. It just, you're not generating as many flies. I suppose if you had some trinket like uh, Fishtail, you might be able to create some more, I think. Now this one, Halo of Flies is pretty good. I say the A tier because you get two Holman fly, uh, orbital flies, and that helps to deflect at least some of the shots coming at you at times. I've had times where it kind of deflected some things, here and there, so that helps. I'm gonna put this as the A tier, because this is kind of a situational thing here, of course. Um, 
because it is a one-up, and, well, I mean, yeah, it's a one-up. I mean, there isn't anything special compared to, like, Cricket's Head. Um, and then we got Magic Mush, and, of course, I'm going to put in the S tier, because Magic Mush is also a big stat up, much like uh, Cricket's Head, but it's got a lot more to it than that. It's got, like, other stats it helps you with, too. Now this is, uh, let's see, this is, what is this? What item is this? I need, I need to turn on my color on my monitor here just to see what these items are. Because sometimes I get confused with these uh, syringes. I'm always playing black and white mode on this game. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it is. Okay, let's close out of this. Dynamic mode, okay. Color looks way crazy right now. Okay. Yeah, I was right with Brother Bobby. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna say a B. Because situationally, you can use that to your advantage of poisoning enemies to give you a chance of a black cart. I think it gives you a slight speed upgrade, so that's pretty good. It's an added thing in Repentance. Alright, and then... i say it's like this about the same here, too, with... Uh, Man, what uh, what item was that called? I, it, it gives you a speed upgrade. I know that, and certain other little stats. So that's pretty good. I'm stick, sticking that as a B. Uh, man, I forgot the name. Tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Now, I want to say this is a A range. Isaac's heart because you pick that up and it heals all your red hearts for red heart characters. Gives you one red heart and it's like a big difference. I'm going to put this also lever at A range because that gives you two or three red hearts. So that's very good. It gives you some health. It's not really useful for other characters that doesn't have like you can take that advantage like the lost the two different lost characters the keeper character stuff like that. Next, we got Skeleton Key. I mean, I'm going to stick it in the B range. Keys are, like, situationally good. I mean, it, this is situationally good. Like, if you have a run that demands a lot of keys, especially if you get, like, uh, uh, Guppy's Tail, then you're going to have to rely on just something like this. And rarely do you need keys in the game. I mean, I've had times with runs where I ran out of keys and I can't get to certain rooms and stuff like that, especially when we're going the old path. Um, so that's kind of useful. Dollar, I'm going to say... I'm going to say S tier, because with, with the dollar, it gives you uh, a lot of purchasing power. And that purchasing power is going to help greatly when it comes to, like, purchasing stuff in the shops, in future shops. Downside is, though, well, actually, you know, well, let's put this in the A tier, because I say downside, though, because it's kind of harder to get, and uh, it's not often I see do the dollar bill. <sighs> ten bombs, I'm going to say D range. It's just ten bombs. Nothing too exciting except for just having ten bombs. I mean, it's, it could be useful, but it's just, you know, whatever. Uh, this noose is pretty good. I say a B range. It's good for flight. You find it in the secret room sometimes. Compass, I'm going to label that as A because that helps greatly. I'm just looking here. All these items, yep. It helps greatly when it comes to like finding your way around in the game. Like finding different key rooms as long as there's no curses. Now... I'm going to mark all these here, because they're all redundant, to the F tier. And I've been wondering, well, why the F tier? Well, as much as it gives you Isaac health and stuff like that, or other characters that needs health, um, the problem with it is there's just too many of them. Another thing, too, it doesn't give you that much health. It does heal you a little bit if you've got more than two hearts. 
Um, but that's it. I mean, there's nothing. They're, they're, they're basically the same, just different icons and different names. Next, we got the spoon. I'm going to say C because that gives you a pretty decent speed upgrade. Same as the belt, too. I'm going to see D with mom's undies, panties, or whatever. And then, you know, same thing, too, with this. Like, it gives you different stats, of course, for the range upgrades. Now, mom's lipstick, on the other hand, I'm going to, I'm going to increase it up to C. Because I think mom's lipstick gives you much more of a range upgrade. If I'm thinking that correctly, that or this one does. Code hanger, I'm going to put that at a B because that is a, again, decent tears up, but not as great as what um, Sad Onion is. Mom, okay, the Bible, I'm going to put this in the C range because it's good for killing mom's foot and then going to the womb and taking down mother there too. It helps with occasional flight stuff, but then that's it. If you're using the devil fight or the or the Mega Satan fight, it'll kill you. Much other things. Now, Book of Belial. I say I put that in the B section right there because... Whoops. What did I knock down? Oh, my VCR. Oh, we gotta pick up those pictures. I, okay, so what item was that? Sorry, I'm trying to... Oh yeah, Book of Belial. So Book of Belial is an excellent damage, temporary damage up. I think it's a three room charge or something like three, three or four rooms. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, someone like Judas would have that. And you can carry that situationally. If you need a little bit of a pick-me-up, that works. Now, Necronomicon, I'm going to say a B. Now, if it was the old uh, Afterbirth Plus, I would probably put this in a C or a D range because it's a four-room charge now. It's good situationally, especially with, like, doing mass damage in large rooms with enemies that are very annoying. Now, the poop, I put that in the F range. Now, I know with the, with the poop, if you have something like Midas Touch, then it could be pretty useful. Or if you have, like, petrified poop, you may be able to get a little bit extra out of it, but not by much. Now, this is a bomb item. I'm going to put it in a C range because this is a usable bomb. You can use it every two rooms, and you can use it to access, like, um... Secret rooms, you can access like other rooms, and as well as use it to kill bosses. It's kind of it's kind of like a larger bomb than normal bombs, so it does pretty good situational damage. Tammy's head, I'm going to put it in the mid range between S and F in the C range because it's kind of hard to find, but if you find it and you get brimstone or something, it's really good. Or if you have like really good powerful tears to where you can use that situationally. But the problem is, it's just I, I hardly can't find it. I hardly can find it anymore. Uh, it's not, not as useful as it used to be. Especially with the repentance patches and stuff. Now here, D, I put this mom's bra as D. I'm not saying it's an F because at least with the D range, you can freeze some enemies. And I think it causes mass damage too. AOE. Is my music still playing? Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, it gives you kind of mom transformation too, but ain't much with mom transformation other than a knife out of the butt. <laughs> okay, next one. Kamikaze. I'm going to put this in the F range, to be honest with you. Situationally, it can be very useful if you're very lucky to find... Something like a uh, anti-blasting, like um, thing, like host hat, or the um, or the one that heals you from explosions. There's that one. Or if you have, there's another one too. That prevents you from getting explosion damage. So it's not that great. Mom's pad. I'm going to put there here as D as well. 
I mean, it's very similar to like mom's bra. I guess in the very similar. Only I think it, there was like fear, fear. Uh, you, you do fear AOE in the room. I think it was, as opposed to this, it would be like frozen rock, kind of petrified effect. Bob's brain. I put it at a. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put it. Let's put it at a D. Because even though they improved it a little bit to where it sticks to enemies, I think now it's uh, still not that great. But you can use it situationally for bosses and open up to other rooms and stuff like that. Very similar to this item, but with this one, it's a little bit trickier because you have to throw it. That's why I said this one's a little better because at least you can actually plant it down. And it'll sit there. A little bit better. Teleporter. I'm kind of on the fence between D and F with this. Because it's not that great. But situationally you can use it for like the, uh, the anointed lost or tainted lost. You know what they call it. Tainted lost. But I call it anointed. But anyways. Uh, situationally you can use it something like that. Especially with the keeper too. If you want to go in the curse room and you teleport out you can get out. And then once in a blue moon, you might find a way to, like, find an I am error room. But it isn't all that great. Now, Yum Heart, I'm going to put it at C. Because, again, it's kind of situational with that. But it's a little better than the last item. Because you can heal yourself, especially with characters that have red hearts. And you can use that to, say... Um, go to South Sacrifice Room and keep playing, playing it over and over again, or you know, using the Blood Bank Machine or a Devil Beggar, you name it. And you can heal every four rooms. With car battery be two hearts for every four rooms. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put this in the B range, uh, Kane's foot or Lucky Foot, because that. That gives, I think it, it, it increases your drops, I think, drop rate for, like, random consumables, I think. And then it also uh, gives you better chances of winning pay, getting payouts out of machines. And then also some of the pills are good. So that's not bad. Doctor for more, I'm going to put this at a C because it's, it's, an, it's a random orbital strike. And it's actually pretty good if you get the right items. Um, it's every two room charge. It's not, it's not bad. Alright, let's see here. Piercing shots. A Cupid's arrow. I'm going to say a C. While piercing can be really good with Cupid's arrow, that's all you're going to get is just piercing shots and if you want to use the situation at least say like trying to push bombs away that's coming at you or stuff like that you can't really do that with those so you can be kind of screwed i'm going to put ship the whoop at an a because it's the damage is based on what your uh what your damage level is and so you can use that to your advantage and it's every two room charge if you find something like um it's a triple A battery trinket. It charges every room. So that could be pretty good. Steven. I mean, it's a damage up. Pretty much. So it's a pretty good damage up. I'm going to put this here too. Because that's pretty good. Because this one's a little better. I, I would. Uh, well, I probably want to put it in S tier because I. You get it as a boss room item a little bit more often than Steven. And you could also get it as a devil deal item and as, as well as a uh, curse room item. And you can get a little bit more damage than out of Steven. Now this one I'm going to put at a B. Even though it's pretty good. Dr. Fetus. Is it, is it Fetus in the jar? No, it's Fetus in the jar. It's Dr. Fetus. It's the orbital strike one. Um... Dr. Fetus, uh, Fetus in the Jar, I mean, it, uh, it's, I mean, it's bombs, it's bomb tiers. You can get into different rooms. 
I've had run, I had a couple of runs where I used that and I was able to win, especially with uh, the blue, the uh, tainted blue baby or anointed blue baby. Um, and you can find stick of rooms better. You can, you know, smash rocks and mushrooms and whatever else pots. It's very good. But the problem is, like, you know, you could damage yourself. It's a little harder to find and stuff. I'm going to put the magnet at a B. Now, why the magnet? Well, the magnet is really good for different things. I think in Repentance, they added a new thing where if you find some chests or something like that, you try to get to, then um, it automatically opens the chest when you're near it. Say, like, if you find a chest that it's, like, a mimic chest, I think it's called, where they have the spikes on there, then you can, um, you don't have to, you know, it hurts yourself to open it, it'll just open it on its own. And there's, like, different situational things, you can use it to open things, do whatever. Okay, let's see here. I put this in the B range, treasure map, so it kind of gives you a general layout of what your floor looks like, but you're not entirely sure where everything is. You, if you're a good Isaac player, I mean, if you've played Isaac enough, you have some general idea where the boss room could potentially be, depending on the setup of the map. I have some sort of, like, insight with that, and it also gives you an idea, to some degree, if you've been playing long enough, where the secret rooms could be, if you have a general whole map layout. It makes things a, a little bit easier, situationally. Alright, Mom's Contact. I think that's Mom's Contact. That's pretty good. It gives you, like, stone tears, chance to hit storm tears. This lemon item, I'm going to put this as a... Well, let's put this in F, because it, it only creates a little pile of P. Every couple of rooms for a room to charge or whatever. It's not that great. It's only good for like, if you're trying to take down, say, uh, a, um, or what do you call it? If you're trying to take down a boss or some enemies that are, you know, not on foot. Or that they're, they're on foot, I mean, sorry. Uh, let's see. Distant admiration. Not that great. I think this is the one that either hits you and then it creates the fly, circular white fly. Or this is the red fly that does something very similar. I'm going to put in the D range. It's not that great. The only thing it could be useful for is like maybe occasionally hit an enemy with that. And B is above transformation. This is one third transformation with that. Book of Shadows, I'm going to put it in an S tier because every three rooms you can use the book as a charge and it gives you invincibility for a period of time. Really good if you got car battery or the uh, 4.5 volt. Very good situationally when it comes to like uh, Tainted Lost or Annoyed Lost. Um, ladder, be honest with you, I'm putting it at an F. Because, yeah, I can get you around gaps and stuff, but it's just kind of useless. It's got to be like one, you know, one block gap or whatever to get across to the other side for things. That's it. Like, it can be good situationally, but I almost never picked that up. Charm the Vampire. I'm going to put this at a C. If it was pre-repentance... I put it at a D because at least they added a damage up with this thing. So it does have an advantage too with uh, healing your heart. I'm going to put this battery as a B because that gives you an extra ability to charge your item once more on top of it. So you have like, you know, a built up charge. Especially if you got like a tainted or anointed character that has a Q item. That you can use that you can build up and you can like take double the effects once you build, build up enough charges for those items steam cell obviously i'm going to put it as an s tier <laughs> because 
It, I mean, that's basically what it is, is an S tier, because it, it halves the damage, uh, halves the price of items in the shops, halves the price of items and, uh, like, for anointed or tainted uh, keeper, especially if you're trying to get to devil deals, angel deals, item rooms, etc., etc., and you're purchasing stuff. As well as a regular keeper, when you're trying to buy stuff, say, in the devil and I think the angel rooms too. I think the angel rooms are covered with costs with with that. Okay, next item. I want to say a C. Because this one situationally could be really good, especially if you've got like brimstone bombs or certain other bomb effects. That could be situationally useful. I think it's a every three or four room charge with that. An anarchist cookbook. I'm going to put this in the D range here because it can slow down enemies for a short period of time. It's it's okay. I don't normally pick it up. It's called hourglass, not glowing hourglass. This glowing hourglass is a totally different thing. Next up, we got Sister Maggie. I'm going to put that in the D range right next to Brother Bobby here because, again, it's very similar to Brother Bobby. I mean, it's not really great situationally. I mean, it can be to to vary a minute point, or a minute like advantage. Now this is, what is this one? I'm thinking here, because there's, there's more than one of these laser tears, I know that. Um, I think this is the one, this is not Ludovico, I don't think so. I don't think that's Ludovico. I'm looking here in my item list. That's Ludovico, okay. Right, right, right. So this one creates, yeah, this one. I'm gonna say a B, because they made some more changes with Repentance to make it synergize better. And if you combine that with like Brimstone, it's gonna make things look nuts. Because they did something too with the recent patch, make it better with Brimstone and other things. It gives you like laser, tier shots it doesn't give you a disadvantage when it comes to your tiers like any stat downs or anything i don't think it does with this because that's a different uh that's a different one that does that now chocolate milk you're probably gonna be wondering why c range taco milk is really good 400 percent damage when you're using it when you're holding down then up to 400 percent damage extra tacked on with your tears and you get tap fire too well that's pretty good I, I don't like kind of the annoyance of charging it I guess you could, you could say the same thing about brimstone but at least with brimstone it's infinite range and stuff but this is not so much and it's only good situationally too if you get like brimstone so you get like super brimstone or, or other little tears with this Alright, growth hormones, I'm going to put this as an A, because it's a really good damage up and a bunch of other stats up. Many mush, I'm going to put this in a B range, because it's got range and speed up, I think. But it does also something down, I think it, down, it downsizes you a little bit, so that's pretty good. Rosary, I'm going to put this as an A, because it's a good tears up. It does heal you, actually, you know what, let's put this in a B. Well, it's a good tier stuff, and it gives you some soul hearts. The downside is it gives you the Bible in the future. It will be more likely to spawn in the future, and the Bible is okay situationally. Not great. Cuban meat. Whoops. Uh oh. Whoops. Oh. Okay, I didn't lose it, thank God. Um, that was my mistake. I'm gonna be honest with you with Cuban meat. It used to be really good pre-repentance, but then with the nerf and stuff, I don't find it to be as good. I can't really use orbitals too well anymore because they've 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 changed it severely. So I mean if you have four Cuban meat, which is kinda hard to get in general, you get the Super Meat Boy, then I could see, or at least three, then I could see if it being a little better, but then it's like, not much. 
All right, the next one is the quarter. I'm going to say a B because, yeah, it gives you just 25 cents. That's it. And it's purchasing power. Not as great as the dollar here, but I'll put it as a C. PhD, we're going to stick that as an A because that'll make all the pills good pills, except for like a couple that they say it's good pills, but it's not good pills because it's, it's kind of neutral pills, like the I, you know, gas and pheromones. I, I guess you can use them situationally, but I, I don't. Oh, I better not be messing around with that clicking thing. That's for sure. Okay. Now I put the, this at an A range, the um, X-ray goggle or X-ray glasses or whatever, because it, it gives you access to secret rooms. In super secret rooms, even if you got Curse of the Blind or Curse of the Unknown, Curse of the Maze, any kind of curses, it doesn't matter. It opens those up no matter what. And that's really good, especially if you're looking for our key or rock bottom or something in these secret rooms, or you're just trying to get some extra stuff out of these rooms. It's pretty good. Unicorn Horn, I'm putting that at a D. While that can be pretty useful when it comes to, like, say, you know, using an arcade machine. Not an arcade machine, but a, um, might. I don't know why that's, like, all blocked out here. What's going on? Wait a minute. One second here. Uh, I, I think it'll be fine. Okay. It's cutting off a little bit there. Um, anyways, back to that. Where is it? Oh, yeah, this right here. I mean, you can use it for visibility to attack enemies and whatever. If you're stuck in the wrong spot or whatever. And you can use it. In it. You can use it to use, like, uh, blood banks. Um, as well as the... Uh, Dark, you know, dark, not dark bomb, but, uh, the demon beggar. Book of Revelations, I'm going to put this as a B. It's another good book. It gives you blue hearts. It increases the, uh, deal with the devil chance. I think, Book of Belial does do too, I think. But then the downside with this, though, is it, uh, Increases the chances of horsemen to be spawned on the floor once you use them before. I'm putting this as an A, the mark, because that's really good when it comes to like firepower and damage. The pact is, you know, very similar, really good too. It, it gives you firepower and and I think some uh, some other things too. S soul hearts as well. These both give you soul hearts. Dead Cat, I'm putting it as an S tier because it gives you nine lives. I mean, the downside of take away your hearts, if you got red hearts for a red, red heart character, or if you got soul hearts for a soul heart character, or a black heart for a black heart character, or if you're a keeper, then it's, you know, one heart from two or three hearts, depending on what keeper you are. But it's one third guppy, too. It's really good as well if you want to take on the beast. Because when you take on the beast, it automatically respawn you and you just keep on going, going. So that's really good. The Fallen, I think that's what it's called. It's uh, it's pretty good A tier item because it gives you some flight and it contributes to uh, Lothiathan. A lot of these de uh, demonic items give you Lothiathan. As well as uh, the angel you know, version of it. I'm sticking the nail to, an, to a D tier. I say a D tier because it's not as great as what the nail used to be where it gives you a full heart. Now it's a half a heart. But the upside, it gives you a half a heart still. And it still breaks rocks. And it gives you a bit of a damage up too. Shovel, we're putting the D tier like... I mean, it's, it's situationally good. 
it's not great <coughs> if you're trying to get down to say the demon floor or something like that it's good and if you're trying to look for crawl spaces it's good too i'm gonna pause this for a second and get some more water okay i'm back so like yeah it gives you down gives you an opportunity to go down the next floor especially if you haven't unlocked satan yet you can go down the next floor with that and you can skip like certain rooms and stuff uh that's about it i mean there ain't a whole lot it can be used situationally you can put this in the c range you can generate some cards it's really good especially if you're trying to look for a certain card that can help you i put it in the c range because it's just a card generator and it's okay it can be used situationally like create cards and i mean that's what all it does is just create cards now if you have something like mom's pill uh thing mom's bottle of pills or just turn the pills instead of cards of course now monstro's tooth it's okay not a great item i mean it can use situationally with against other bosses or certain other enemies but if it misses it'll miss so there's that loki's horn i'm gonna put this as an f it's uh it's okay but um the problem with it is just i mean it gives you directional shots and those could be dangerous depending on what tiers you have um but it gives you additional shots and it's directional a little mega thing it's pretty good i say a c because it does it can get through like enemies and stuff like that and cause a little bit of you know good amount of damage per tick uh, spider i'm gonna put this in the same range too because it gets down it gives you a uh, slow tear effect and occasionally and you know, when it hits the enemy it may cause them to slow down a bit and that can help too if you're trying to like stop a quick enemy from coming at you so fast if you've got a little speed small rock i'm going to put that in an a tier well i could put it as an s tier the problem is like there's a slight speed down but the tiers of damage is really good splunker hat i'm going to put it as a b tier because spelunker hat you could find out uh you could find where your secret rooms the super secret rooms are before you can bomb them and also there's an added benefit i think it can help with the curse of the darkness evidently now uh, so that's the thing apparently the newest patch you can i think it's the newest patch it does that uh so it can help with the curse of darkness certain floors all right let's see here i'm gonna say say b with this advantage because it gives you a couple red hearts and a few spirit hearts but the downside is um if you got certain like if you got certain you know uh like characters you're playing as it's not going to be very advantageous like the keepers the losts stuff like that game kit i'm gonna put it as a c it's a little better than unicorn horn because it's less of a charge and it actually heals you if you got health red health issues it heals you if you eat up more enemies so like a little pac-man effect so that's a little better uh, i'm gonna put this as a b tier this uh penny bag thing and we got a lot of like i guess we gotta go through here because it occasionally drops you pennies after so many times. I'm gonna put this in a C tier. This is low, this is a little better than these two guys, because he does laser tears. Robo baby, I don't know which one this is. I mean, they're about the same, anyways. So you can control them, I think. One of these you can control them. I know that. 
I put a ham at the C tier because it's only situationally like good if you're a certain character that relies on red hearts. Drops you occasional red heart in every four rooms, six rooms, something like that. It's a little bit less than what it used to be. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, actually, I want to put this in the C tier because it's not as great as what it used to be. It still gives you some consumables. It's not as much as what it used to be with pre-repentant stuff. Uh, it drops you random consumables, including like little miniature batteries. I'm going to put this in the C range. It pains me to put this in the C range because it used to be really good in pre-repentance. But again, this has been nerfed severely. And it does give you soul hearts still, but not as much as what it used to. Um, it's like every seven rooms you get a soul heart or something or more rooms you get complete. So it's not as great. Gish, I mean, I'm tired of Gish. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's put Gish in the F range, actually, because the problem I have with Gish is you fight Gish on the Depths 1. Yeah, the Depths 1. I think it's usually in Depths 1, isn't it? And then you get this, this, this Vermailer. Like, yeah, he, he can do, like, ink, you know, ink shots, and he can occasionally slow down the enemy and stuff, but then that's it. Like, that's all it is. It doesn't really do much with damage. I'm going to say a little Steve is a little better than that one. Because it's got some homing shots, at least. And I think it's a little better with damage. Maybe it's the same, but it's a little bit better, but not much. Put in the Halo at A range, of course, because it's an old stats up. Really good. Mom's bottle of pills. I put this in the C range because it's very similar to this. It just generates pills. Now, if you have like start a deck, it'll just generate cards instead of pills. That's all it does. I'm putting this poison damage in the D range because, like, yeah, it could do poison damage, but it's like that's it. There's not like anything else, like any other stats up or any other decent effects. It's just poison damage with your tears. I'm gonna put this in A range. I was about to put it in the S range, but I say A range because while it's really good when it comes to like causing like little ripple effects with the tears that kind of spread out and stuff. The only downside is, the only, there's downsides where it's like if you got certain tear effects like Ipecac or something, then it's going to like split off and it can hit you easier. It hits you a lot more, so we can't have that. I mean, I can't have that. Of course, the D6 here, we got to put that in mass tier because that gives you the ability to uh, see here. Let's try to like Shrink that a little bit there. There we go. Are we looking? That yeah, looks better. Um, I'm just going to be shrinking this down more as the time goes along. The D6, we're going to keep up here in the S tier because it's very good when it comes to like re rolling items you don't want to have in certain rooms. It's really good. Guaranteed re roll. I'm putting this Mega Boom or whatever in the B tier. It's really good. Uh, the, the good benefit with it is it makes a bigger boom, causes more damage, bigger bigger AOE effect. Shears, we're gonna put it as an A tier. Like it, it can be used for any character. It you know dislodges the head from the body and it chases after the enemy. The downside is they kind of nerf the damage with it a bit, as well as it doesn't track them as hardcore as what it used to. And it also gives you flight. The wafer, we're going to put that in A tier. I could have put it in S tier, but the problem is it's not really good when it comes to the lost or any losts, any of the anointed, uh, or not anointed, any of the lost, any of the keepers. But it's really good for other characters. The half their damage from anything. I put this as the S range, S tier, because 
Mine equals power, works across the board with all the characters, it gives you damage the more money you have, and it's a really good synergy if you have something like uh, Deep Pocket, so you can get up to 999 coins if you're lucky enough and get a lot of damage. Okay, now this is Mom's... Mom's eye. This gives you a uh, thing in the back of the head. That's still pretty good for the B range. I say it's a little bit better than... Uh, than, where is that? This here? I guess this one's gonna give you four ways. Actually, you know, let's just put this in the C range because like, that's gonna be kind of an issue. You got like other tiers. This is what I mean right here. I want the B range. This is the mom's contact or whatever it's called. This this uh, freezes enemies with the rock tears. The Bane, I am putting this in the F range. I've seen this so many times. It's only good situationally if you want to gas an enemy, but that's it. It's like poison damage. Haha, -ha, funny. C range for this uh, angel thing. Spins around real fast, and I think after it hits, gets hit 11 times, I, th I think, with this. Either that or it's another angel orbital thing. Then it uh, generates the eternal art. I think it might be the other thing, not this guy. But all he does, he just goes really fast as an orbital. I think that's pretty good to block some shots faster, maybe. But that's it. I don't think it fires or anything. Demon Baby, I'm gonna put this as a B, because Demon Baby, he's a little better. Because he can fire at enemies that come a little too close to us. And kind of push him away with his fire a little bit. We're gonna put this as an S tier, obviously, Mom's Knife, because it does a tremendous amount of damage despite being nerfed. It's still pretty good. Um, you get away with a lot of like, you know, killing off certain bosses and enemies and stuff like that pretty well. This is going to D range. I say D range because spectral tears are just spectral tears. It goes through rocks and, I mean, pretty much rocks and objects, but not like enemies. And that's all it does. It just it passes through things. That's all it does. And it gives you a hor horrifying face. Nine volt. I'm putting it as a B tier because that gives you one less charge for using your spacebar item. It's really good. If you got something that only is, it's only a one room charge, it charges while you're in a room full of enemies. So that could be very useful. Dead Bird. I'm going to say Dead Bird is a D, believe it or not. Because he does chase after enemies. He's a little bit better with Repentance. And if you got something, say, like, uh, Nod Leaf, then you can use them to chase after enemies and just sit down and just do nothing. Brimstone, I am definitely putting it to a, uh, an S tier. It's piercing. It's, it's, it's been weakened, of course, and repentance, but it's still really good. Good, a good high tier item. Pierces through enemies, infinite range. A lot of fun synergies. I'm going to put this as an A tier. Blood bag. Because with blood bag, you can... Yeah, it gives you a health up. Which it heals up all your hearts, I think. If not, a good chunk of your hearts. And then across the board for all characters, it gives you um, speed. A modest amount of speed. And you can keep getting these things over and over again. I'm going to say C for this one. Uh, I think it's Skinny Odd uh, Mushroom or something like that. Skinny Mushroom. It's a really good tears up, but it, it can severely impact you with your damage if you're not careful with it. Situationally, if you got a lot of damage, Oh, my thing just, what the hell was that? They like pop with this freaking earphones. Now, uh, situation, they can be really good. If you got a lot of damage, you cannot, it will not affect things too much. That's about it. 
I'm going to put this as a C range. It does give you some damage in an empty heart container. But that's about it. I don't think it does anything with the speed. It, actually, you know what? It might do something with your speed. It might decrease it. Um, I'm going to put this in the B range because... Well, it gives you some speed and some damage. It's really good. The only thing is, it's only good situationally if you're not the keeper. I mean, if you were the keeper, you'd have to have one heart, one coin heart. If you're the, if you're any of the lasts, it'd be really good. If you're like any of the blue babies, it's really good. If you're the, if you're the, ten, you know, anything with heart with uh, non-red hearts is really good. And then. Especially with other characters that have red hearts, you take away the red hearts and it's like just soul hearts or demon hearts or whatever. It's really good. But that that's it with that. Monster manual, I'm gonna put this as an F range, honestly. Whoops. Put that bean back over here. Can I? There we go. I say an F range because yeah, I get it. It's been buffed a little bit to where it's like, hey. You can have a familiar for the whole floor as opposed to just for a room. It's the same amount of charges. It's okay. It's a little better. But I don't really use it all a lot. It's not that great. Alright. Again, this this item here. I don't use it a whole lot. It's kind of dangerous, I think, because you might get kamikaze. I think you still can get kamikaze. And it's just random item generation stuff. It's not that great. The scrolls. I'm gonna put these uh, bo not Boko bombs, but these these tracking bombs is a B tier. How are we doing on this size thing on the screen? Oh, we're we're kind of like <laughs> there we go. Let's try that. How's that look? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I put that here because it tracks enemies down and stuff, and that's really good, especially if you got like um, things happening in the game that is. Uh, you know, you got like, enemies that are chasing you down. If you want to get after them, if you're close enough, you can use the bombs or chase them down. Downside is, like, if you want to place a bomb down specifically in a room while there's enemies in it, say you try to get to the secret room, it may just track down the enemy. Razor. Not that great. It's only great if you're trying to get a bunch of damage just for a room. Or if you're trying to whittle down your hearts enough to where... You get an advantage like with uh, Eve, but that's about it. I mean, it's not a whole lot. It gives you extra damage. Now, I put this in the A tier. Now, it could be easily in the S tier, you might think, but I think A tier because the downside is it takes up your space bar item. But the good news is you can restart a whole floor with that thing. And they can be really good when it comes to, like, getting an extra shop or whatever. <sighs> okay, so... I'm gonna put this in the D range, like this other fly here. I think this is Distant Admiration. I think that's what that is. One of these two is. One of them is a red fly, and the other one's like a fly that if you get hit, then it, uh... Maybe be, or it might even be a blue fly. I don't know which. Not that great. Um, very similar to the other one. Actually, now I think about it. Did I get a mulligan? Yeah, no, that's Scatola. Yeah, we'll keep Scatola there. Scato I think that's either Scatola. They changed things. I think that's Scatola. No, Scatola is with the poop, isn't it? I'm so confused now. Okay, whatever. We'll just keep going. Lard. I say a C range because. It gives you a couple red hearts, empty heart containers, and might heal you just a little bit. Downside is the speed down. It's real bad. And then this is uh, the pony. I'm going to put it as a D because it's a little better than an F range because at least it gives you some flight. Every two room charge, you can chase down enemies with it. But that's it. Bomb bag, I'll put it in the B range because it Occasionally drops you bombs. That's about it. Um, lump of coal. I'm going to put it in a B range because it can 
I mean, it gives you a little bit of damage the more, the further your tears are away, and it's really good for like brimstone, mom's knife, certain tears like that. Guppy's paw. I'm gonna say an, an A range because some characters can't benefit with it, like the like the Losts, the Keepers, certain characters that have the soul or dark hearts, soul hearts or dark hearts. They can't really take advantage with it, but it is a it is a guppy item, so it does contribute to winter guppy. I put this as an A A range. Well, you know, let's put this in a B range actually. Guppy's tail. The downside is it reduces the keys count, but the good news is you get a red, you get an increase in red chests. Now, if you can find something like the left hand, then you convert all those chests into red chests, and then you increase your chances of finding more demon items and the devil items, like more cat items and stuff like that, or teleports here, or get more soul arts and stuff like that. I put this as a C range, this uh, IV bag, because at least with IV bag, it does help situationally if you're trying to get some more money for characters that have red hearts, or if you want to go real hard on it, soul hearts. But you can't really use it for the lost. You could try using it for the keeper, but I think there's a built safe safe. There's a built in uh, thing on there, nerf, to where you don't get as many coins as you would with using it. I'm gonna put this whatever thing, I forget what it's called. I think it was my best friend or whatever. C range. It's 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 kind of a bomb item. It sits there longer than it should. I think it attracts enemies. I think it does. So that's changing repentance. It's, it speeds up too with not it speeds up, it slows down when it comes to the timer for blowing things up. So that's another change too. I'm putting this boom item here because it's not as great as what it used to be. I mean, it's not great as it used to be. It's about the same thing. I mean, the only advantage with it is, a couple of advantages with it is, like, gives you five bombs, and then you don't have to let the bombs go off immediately. You can just press the spacebar button and let them go off. It doesn't really do a whole lot for you. Now, let's see here. Stigmata, I think that's what it is, Stigmata, that's pretty good. It gives you certain stats up, gives you a red heart too, if you can get a red heart, or a soul heart for whatever characters. Okay, let's see here, now we got um, Mom's Purse. I'm gonna say a D range because it's still pretty good. When it comes to like, say, if you if you want to get an extra trinket that can help you, that's kind of your ticket to give you a trinket space. But that's about it. It also contributes to mom transformation. Poison bombs. I'm gonna put this as a C tier because it, it creates a poison poison cloud. Gives you five bombs. Does poison damage, but that's that's about it. Not a whole lot there. Not as effective as this boom thing. I put this in the D tier because while it can give you some money, it's kind of sucky. If you try and get a boss room item, that's going to be really good. And if you get that item, then it's like, oh, here's some coins. I mean, situationally, it can be good, but then it's like, if you can't use the shop anymore, or something happens with the shop, it, it's always going to give you is coins. I'm gonna put this as the C tier, because if you're down to one soul heart, or one heart or whatever, it gives, it'll give you a chance, I think it gives you a chance, either a chance or a guaranteed chance to drop a soul heart on the ground for you to pick up so they can be useful for characters with health. I'm gonna put this in the C tier. That, uh, that item is a syringe, but it gives you a shot speed up and a speed up, which is not bad, but it's not as great as the other syringes.
And this beggar. I put him in the F range. He's good for situational things, but I don't really pick up bum friend because he keeps picking up my coins, and coins are very precious, especially in repentance. I can't allow him to pick up stuff. Unless if I'm, you know, rolling in with money, I can't really utilize him too much. We got Guppy's head, which it can be used as a flight generator every room. And it contributes to one third Guppy, but that's about it. I mean, it could be it could be even more advantageous if you get like Hive Mind, and you, and either Hive Mind or Fishtail, or if you have both, that'd be even better. You'd be generating flies, flies like crazy with that. Let's see, uh, prayer card. I'm gonna say a C. While prayer card is really good for other characters. Okay, we're running out of room here. <laughs> so let's do that. Things are starting to look a little smaller. Oh, it's still not enough. Okay. Oh my lord. Actually, I need to screw up, I guess, a little bit more. There we go. No, that's never not. Wait a minute, what the heck is it? Is it capturing from below? Too? I guess it kind of is. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, where was this? Oh, yeah. I say a C range because not every one of them are going to benefit it. And you got to make sure to protect that eternal heart. Say Notch Axe is a D range item because Notch Axe, it, um, how are we doing on the screen stuff? Still, still like cutting things off. What's going on? Can I adjust this a little bit? I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit here. What am I? Okay, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. Let's just do it that way. I was trying to like make sure I uh, zoom in as much as I can. Okay do that. How are we looking? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks a lot better. Alright, anyways, uh, situationally, you can use this to, like, break rocks, mushrooms, whatever else, and I think it also gets into sicker rooms and does other things, too, but then that's about it. I'm going to say the F range for this item. They grow inside. I know that's the item description. If you get hit, and it gives you a chance to spawn like spiders or flies, and that's about it. It's not that great. Epicac, I'm gonna put this as I'm gonna say A range. I'm about to say S range, but A range because it's a huge damage up. It's explosive damage, but it's a little bit of a tears down, I think. But the also downside too is. It causes explosive damage so you can hurt yourself and stuff and that's you can find a way to offset that like say you get brimstone like it makes things much safer but then if you get something like this uh Loki's horn or something like that then it's gonna make things complicated tough love I'm gonna say a D range unless you got like something like perfection or lots of luck or something you're not gonna give me two shots Teeth shots. It's still pretty powerful, the teeth shots, don't get me wrong, but. Now, this is the mole again. It's definitely the mole again. Because this is Katola. Mole again is really good. I mean, it's been nerfed slightly, so it doesn't generate as many flies, but still pretty good. I put this laser thing at a C tier because it does de decrease the damage of your tears. And. Uh, I think it's your damage and your and your sh and your uh, tear rate. I think it decreases that. If I'm not mistaken. Quad shot. I'm gonna put this. Let's see. About the same as the C range because like, just like with this one, it gives you a four shots instead of three, but then it, it gives you just as much of a, you know downscale to your tier rate is this. 
the chemical peel, put it in the D range, because it gives you like every other shot, it gives you a little bit of extra damage. That's that's about it. It's not like perfect. Just like with blood clot, it's just not great. Peeper, I'm putting it as an F. Well, you know what? Well, I'm gonna put it as a D. Because at least with Peeper, it, it goes around the map and it just hits things. It does contact damage and it's good situationally if you got like not late for something, but that's about it. It doesn't do a whole lot. Succubus is a lot better than that. Um, at least it gives it much more of a range for Succubus than that. Nine's Habit, I'll put it as a B because um, while I can give you like charges for every time you get hit, it's only good for characters that have a lot of health. You don't want something like the Keeper unless you are have a way to like generate a bunch of like coins. Um, definitely not useful for the Lost. Other characters, it has a better advantage. Now I think this one right here. Let's see what is this one right here? This is. Uh, what is that? I think that's anemic. Is that anemic? Let me see here. Because if I see the other one, I might have an idea what it is. Where is it? <laughs> is it on here? I must be overlooking it. Oh, right here. No, that's uh, okay. I know what this is. This is uh, this is Samson's thing. I'm gonna put this as a B tier, because every time you get ahead, you you uh, generate more damage and stuff. And uh, that that that's just about it. Each time you get hit, you you generate damage and it lasts for the whole floor. Downside is you can't use it for like the lost. You could use it for the keeper, but then the keeper is a little bit more precious when it comes to his health because it's coin hearts, and you got limited hearts, of course. I put this uh, this crystal ball as an A because each time you use it, you're guaranteed to to open up your whole map to see where it's basically a combination of blue map with the treasure map here. So it gives you that kind of effect. Plus it has a chance to give you a soul heart or card. I put it as an A tier because you don't always get soul hearts. And sometimes if you get soul hearts with a character that can have soul hearts, it's not gonna be advantageous for you. Spirit of the Night, I'm gonna put it as an A because it's also flight just like with this one. It gives you some speed too. It also could uh, helps with uh, Lithiathan transformation. I put this at the A range too because the um, it casts like light beam shots down, so that's really good. Um, especially if you're using the boss rooms, they're very tight rooms that have a bunch of enemies, like a four room charge, I think. I'm gonna put this as a D range because. While I could spawn you as a blue baby, and I think if you're tainted or anointed blue baby, then it could be very advantageous to respawn back to whoever it is that's playing as them as that. So it is a one-up. Celtic Crest, I'm going to put it to C because it it can contribute to some invincibility to a, a little bit when you do get hit. Not all the time, and it's not really useful for other characters like the Lost. Like, like the Lost, because like, it just doesn't work that way. This one I'm putting definitely in the D range because it's just like these other two. It does very similar. That's a familiar. Blue candle, I'm definitely putting in the A range. Because you can use that to kill off keep keepers and stuff. 
like kill the keepers in the shops and you increase your devil deal chances as well as like uh, shopkeepers and secret rooms. It's also great for like taking on enemies and stuff. The downside is the fires can be put up really quickly. It's been nerfed to where it doesn't last as long as it should. But it's still really good damage. Cat of Nine Tails, I put it in the A range because it gives you shot speed and damage. Pretty good. I'm putting this actually in the A range, S range, believe it or not. Because it's really good if you use it for greedier. Now, I could make the argument where you can put it in the A range if it's only really great and greedier. But you can use it for other means, like other runs, other than greedier. And you can try to generate some stuff that you want to get. Especially if you're trying to get to a run you want to break things. You can still break things in normal runs. It takes a little bit more work, but you know. Now this thing I'm putting the D range too because it's very similar like the other ones. Only Harlequin Baby, it does a like of a V shot kind of thing. So it's not that great. Putting this in the A range. Well, let's see. Yeah, I say A range. Could be at the S range, but I say A range. It's a little bit better than the fetus in the jar because it's an aerial strike attack. The downside is the timing on it. If you're trying to get fast enemies, you got to make sure you hit it down. You hit them and you hit them hard and you hit them quick. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to use if you're trying to hit like hosts. Of certain enemies that pop up and down, especially the worms in the grounds, and it's also damage effects. So you can hurt yourself easily too. Polythemus. I almost got an, an, a, a tainted or or anointed Isaac run, but I screwed it up. <laughs> it's really good, but the downside is, of course, is uh, uh, downside with that is like a. Um, there's an issue with tears rate. I'm gonna put daddy on S tier, believe it or not, because it still comes down. It does pretty good amount of damage. It doesn't really screw you too hard. And it's good for all characters, especially if you need like a little bit of oomph to take down enemies and whatever, and bosses. I'm putting this in the D range because it can be used situationally to slow down enemies and I think it does an AOE effect but that's about it when it comes to that. Okay, let's try to bring that a little further. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's see if we can like... No, we can't, we can't like... Okay, you can probably still see it. It's going to be a little harder to see as we're going along here. Okay. Sack Dagger. I'm going to put this as a, uh, a D range. It's not as good as what it used to be. It's good situationally, but it's not. you can't really use it too well unless you got, like, not leaf. Or you're really good at the game and stuff. Miter, I'm going to put it as a B range, increases the chances of soul hard drops, but downside is um, it doesn't always proc as quickly as you want it to sometimes, and it's not good for the keeper and keepers, any of the keepers or any of the lost. I'm putting Rainbow Baby as D because, yeah, it does like rainbow effects and stuff like that, but that's about it. Not that great. Rainbow tear effects, random tear effects. Dance key. I'm gonna put it in an A range. It could be, it could maybe easily get to S range maybe, but like, it's only good, well, I don't really pick it up much anymore. Cause, I mean, it's good for like unlocking certain doors or getting through rooms that you don't want to be in. It gets you out of, out of uh, boss rush and stuff like that. But I say A range because, like, I don't really use it that often and it takes up space for my spacebar. 
I'm gonna put this uh, stem cells as a D because it's a lot better than the food items because at least it gives you uh, it gives you uh, shot speed. So it's it's only a difference. It's a little bit of shot speed. I'm gonna put this as a D range because it it's it's a slot portable slight machi slot machine. It's really good. I know really good. It's a little better. Uh, to generate some things, but not much. But it could be used situationally with things if you're struggling to get some keys or something. Holy water. Oh, well, that's weird. You put it in the S tier, huh? Yeah, I put it in the S tier because now the holy water is a lot better. It's really good. You can throw it at an enemy and then it'll freeze them. It causes some AoE damage with the water that comes down on the ground. And especially if you get BFF. Then it's a huge freaking thing, and it actually not only does those effects, but it also causes a big fire, a fire, and it, it burns the enemy too, so it's a big AoE on that as well. Really good. Now, this, uh, this thing, I forgot what it's called. Um, I forget what it's called, but it gives you flight, and it gives you an eternal heart, and I think it counts to Seraphim transformation. Black bean. I mean, it's similar to this bean. I think it does poison damage, nothing great. <laughs> I'm going to put this as a B tier because it's a little bit better than the black pony down here. Because at least with this, you can cause beam of lights come down, not just with flight. It's really good. S tier, obviously, for, uh, well, not obviously, but you know what I mean. S tier for me, obviously for me, um, for Sacred Heart, because that gives you a red heart, gives you a lot of damage, tracking, tiers, everything else. Excellent item. A tier for the, uh, for the toothpicks, because the toothpicks, it uh, gives you a pretty good uh, tears rate, like increase, and I think it gives you some shot speed. It's a little bit of a bonus. Uh, the Holy Grail, it gives you flight and an eternal heart, very similar to this. It does contribute to uh, Seraphim, I know that. Dead Dove is very similar to this, only it just gives you flight and a horrifying face, which is pretty funny. I'm putting this in the F tier because I it's been nerfed in Repentance, of course. I haven't really found a, a situation to use it anymore since Repentance came out. I used to use it here and there, you know, excessively and Afterbirth Plus, but because things got nerfed, it's not as great. Got these hairball. I'm gonna say a D. Let's be honest here, because it's. Uh, I say a D range because it does block some shots. It could spin it around, and the more you kill with it, the bigger it gets. Just for the floor, at least. It does contribute to one third guppy, but that's it. Not a whole lot with that. Freaking Abel belongs in the F range. She could stay down there in the fire pits of hell. Abel still sucks. It's, it's, even when they fixed it, I still don't like them. Ah, you know, wow. Well, I'm going to put this in the S range because it gives you, like, more stats for this uh, SMB super fan, I think it's called. Yeah, it's the old stats. It's really good. It's great for all characters. I'm gonna put this in the B range, uh, A range. 99 bombs, excellent pickup. Not the greatest thing to pick up in a secret room, but it's really good if you're uh, you're lacking bombs and if you want to start, you know, finding more secret rooms and stuff like that, or use it offensive, offensively. 
three dollar bill it's pretty good i say b range because you know you don't always get the great greatest tier effects in rooms so that could be tough it can be a little dangerous uh uh telepathy for dummies i say a range because it gives you i mean it not only gives you like uh like tracking tiers like spoon bender but also it uh gives you some range upgrade so that's pretty good i think the range upgrade that's been added to the game and repentance whoops meat i'm gonna put in the b range it gives you a modest damage upgrade and, and one red heart but it's not as great as like the other ones it gives you a little bit of a damage upgrade Magic 8 Ball, it gives you some shot speed, gives you a random card, and it, it does help with give, contributing to a planetarium chance before you get to the room. But then, it, unless you get like a uh, telescope thing, which increases the chances further, and it actually carries over to the room, room levels, um, you can't really benefit anything after, the, after Depths 2 without it. Mom's coin purse, I put it as a D because it could still be kind of good if you do find some good pills around or if you get lucky. But I say D range because it's kind of a crappy boss item and if you're really relying on getting stats or something, then that's not going to be your best bet. Especially if you get really bad pills or if you got like, you know, if you try to do like a pillless run, then you're going to have issues. Squeezy, I want to put it as a B. It's a good tiers up. I think it's not as good as like certain other tiers up, but it's it's still pretty good. It gives you a couple soul hearts too, randomly. Jesus juice. I'll I'll put it as a a B range. It's good damage. Well, actually, you know what? So let's put it in the A range. It's good damage because it gives you a little bit of damage, and I think some shot speed or something like that this is a little it's a little bit better than meat i think the box i'm going to put it to c range because yeah it gives you a random trinket pill or ruin a heart a key a bomb but it's kind of situational it could be really good or it could just be garbage mom's key i'm going to put it in a range because I mean, pre-repentance is even better because it had a lot more stuff coming up. It's still really good, especially if you're doing like greedy, uh, greed runs, and you got, if you're trying to break your runs, it's going to be really good when you open those chests. If you, if you got something like this uh, dice here. I'm going to put this in a C range, Mom's Eyeshadow. It's, uh... It's okay. I mean, it gives you charm, charm effects, chance to charm enemies, but that's about it, and it contributes to one third mom transformation. And then next up, we got concussive tears. I think it's called. I'm gonna say a C tier. Because with Concussive Tears, it can confuse enemies, which it can help, and it can also throw you off a little bit with their patterns. It gives you a little bit of a damage upgrade. Midas Touch can be, a, it's a little better. I say a little bit better because with enemy, with characters you have that has really good health, you can use that to break runs, especially if you're a blue baby and you have the, um, the poop item, you can transfer your, transform your poops into golden poops, sometimes. Humbling Bundle, I say an A. Well, sometimes it can proc, sometimes it may not. It's still a really good item. You still could, you can get a lot of good things out of it. Um, fanny pack. I'm gonna say D range. Like, I don't really pick up Fanny Pack too much. It's only good situationally. And if you got certain characters that can't really get it hit too much, 
then it's not going to be really advantageous. Spark plug, I say a B, even though I haven't really used it that much. There are certain situations you can use this to like break runs. Downside is I just I mean you get damage and we can't afford to get damage if you're any lost characters or if you're the keeper. Unless you find a way to break the run with the keeper stuff. I suppose. Guillotine, I'm gonna put it a D tier. It's like hot trash for me at least. Because it's just uh it throws me off with the head orbiting as well as the body stuff and if you're trying to shoot and everything it just throws me off like real hard. Like it's a good it's a it's a good little bit of a good tears up and whatever, but that's about it. And it's got over the stuff. This is very similar to like the Cuban meat. I mean, you could create Bandage Girl, but it's an orbital, and it's not as good as what it used to be. A range. It's really good. It gives you good damage up. Downside is you'll be generating more of those, uh, what do you call it? More of those uh, champion enemies. And that could be a hassle if you're trying to like survive. Butt bombs. I say C tier because it can, while it can cause AOE effect, the downside is if you got a room full of poop enemies, it heals them, especially with the bosses and stuff like that. Not leaf. I'm obviously putting that into the S tier. I mean, it still works. It's not nerfed that I know of. It still works fine. I, as long as you got an orbital or some kind of enemy that does damage for you automatically, it's really good. Really good. Ah, spider Baby. Now, Spider Baby. I'm going to put it in an F tier because it ain't that great. I think if you get hit, you have a chance to spawn spiders, something like that. Not that great. Goppy's Collar, I'm gonna see a B range because it has a chance to respawn you with it. I don't know what the chances are with it exactly, but it, it has a chance. Plus it contributes to Guppy transformation. Shield tiers, I put it as an A. I could put, I could have probably put it as an S, but I say an A because you're gonna have to have a high enough tier rate to like, you know, get past the enemy with it, and it does give you a slight shot speed down. Anemic, I'm gonna put it as a C because you're gonna have to get hit in order to um, proc the blood trail, and that blood trail is only gonna be good for enemies that can walk on it. Goat head, I'm gonna put as an S tier because that gives you a guaranteed devil deal even if you take red heart damage. It's really good if you're trying to force devil deals every floor. I put Sin Rooms as S tier because that gives you a, a modest damage up. And it gives you some black hearts for characters that can take those hearts. Mom's wig, I'm going to put as a C, which occasionally spawns spiders and contributes to one third mom transformation, but that's about it. Not a whole lot really going on. I put placenta as C range as well, C tier, because, well, I can occasionally heal you, have a chance to heal you every so many seconds. It's only good for characters if they have health. Like Red Heart's health. Um, old Bandage. I'm gonna say a D range. So it's a little bit worse because while I can give you a, a Red Heart container, it's only good for Red Heart container like characters because if you do get hit, you have a chance to spawn a Red Heart. Not too ideal, but you know. Sad Bombs, I put as an A tier because that's gonna mimic 
your tear effects when you blow up a bomb. Really good. I put this as a beard B tier, believe it or not, this uh, submit tiers because um, while it could be good situationally with, uh, say, uh, brimstone and things like that, certain things like Ibacac and stuff, it's going to bounce on walls that can just hit you randomly. These tears I just do not like. I can't really find like any decent thing that can come to mind with tear effects that could be advantageous with that. I mean, I've used Mom's Knife, I've used Brimstone, all these other ones. It's. I'm going to put this as the S tier because that heals you if you have red hearts. And it can also protect you from any kind of bomb damage. Really good. I'm going to put Cricket's Body as an S tier 2, despite the fact that it gives you a a range down. It gives you tiers up, and it gives you... Well, you know what? Actually, let's put that in A tier. So, come on. I'm going to bump it down into A tier, because the only downside is, like... Some of these are similar ones here. Get Ipecac or certain other ones, it's gonna like bounce and cause some issues. B tier for this. It's good if you got health as a character, but bad if you don't if you can't to like get any health drops for other characters. Has a chance to give you like red hearts if you kill certain enemies or blue or whatever hearts if you uh, get hit. Lotus, I put it as a B tier too because it gives you some red hearts and some other hearts like spirit hearts or black hearts, but then that's it. It's not good for other characters. Biggie Bang, I also put down the B tier because it's only good for characters that has can afford to get hurt. Um, except for the Keeper, which, oh, I mean, the Keeper is pretty good, I guess, because at least if you get hit, hit, you have a chance to spawn some extra coins that might use for health. This is Fear Shots and Tears Up, which is pretty good. Downside is it's Fear Shots, you can throw off the enemy path pretty easily. Monsters line is pretty good too, but it's Tears Down and... If your tears rate is pretty bad, you take that item, it's going to be kind of a nightmare situation, and certain tear effects are not great for that. Abaddon, I put as an A tier because it gives you, it changes your red hearts to black hearts, and it, co it contributes to Leviathan, but it's not really great for like characters like the Keeper, which the Keeper now they have a patch to where it doesn't kill you immediately, it just gives you one one coin heart. But something like the lost, it doesn't kill you at all. It, you just get the damage upgrade. It's also a damage upgrade too. I'm putting this with the F tier similar to like Gish, because it's very similar, only it's, it's like a path path thing for slowing Oh well, you know what, let's put this in D. It's a little bit of better thing because if something's chasing you down by foot, it can slow him down with the trail. Stop, watch, it goes in the S tier because now they made changes repentance to where it slows everything down, period, instead of what it used to be. If you get hit, then um, it slows things down. But now it's like across the board. That's really, really, really good. Broken, if you mind. If you would even say that. I say D tier with these orbiting tiers because. You can you could find ways you can use it situationally, like with brimstone and other things. But then it's like kind of a pain. It's a little bit better in repentance than it was in the other thing. Infestation two, and we put that as an A tier because you can occasionally spawn some spiders and some flies when you're hitting enemies. I think we hit it. Yeah, when you're hitting. Enemies. Touch is just kind of garbage here. 
Like, I suppose you can use that. I think it does work. Let's put that in the D tier. Because I think it can work if you got Nod Leaf. And it could use situationally a little bit if an enemy hits you. That's about it. Death Touch, we're put into the S tier here. Because with Death Touch, is there a way to even like span this by the way? I don't know. Let's not mess with it. I don't want to screw it up. It gives you a, a slight tears down, but it's really good with piercing shots and it makes your shots a little bigger. I mean, key pieces. I mean, I guess it's just part of the set here. I put it in the D range because it's, it's only good if you want to go to the Mega Satan. But it's 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 better than than F tier though because each key piece increases the chance for angel deals in the future as long as you don't take a devil deal item or if you have duality I suppose it's fine. All right, now we got experimental treatment. That's a D range because sometimes it could screw you, sometimes it won't. It's kind of situational. B range for contract for below, it decreases the chances of uh, getting certain, uh, getting item pickups, but then increase, but then it, uh, but when it does proc, it gives you double the item. I'm gonna say it is, this could be an S range, I think, right here, because it, there's not really a disadvantage. It gives you a 50% chance of deflecting a shot. Absorbing a shot comes at you. Works across the board. Uh. The shield I'm going to put in the C range because it's just. Um, I mean, it can be used situationally, just like any other like orbital thing, but it's it's whatever. It, it absorbs some of the shots. I think it's a little bit better in uh, uh, Repentance. Tech point five, I'm gonna put it as an A tier because it gives you a laser tears. And it doesn't do anything to, you know, to damage your your uh, your DPS or your, your damage or anything like that. Now, I'm still gonna stick this in A tier even though they've updated this recently to I think it decreases your damage now. But then if you combine it with uh, uh, quad shot, I think, and I think even a triple shot, it uh, it fixes the damage issue. It, it negates it or something. Blue map gets into the S tier. Because with the S tier, and we're running out of room, Oh my god. Is there like a way to like score the bar? I cannot. Okay. Well, I'm hoping you could see this. Let's see here. I mean, we have a lot of white space, don't we? Let me see something here. No, I better not. <laughs> okay. Well, bear with me. I'm sorry about this. Um, yeah, blue map. I mean, at this point, we probably won't. I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, well, blue map. It. Uh, I wish I could just move these items over here and just drag them over there. Blue map is an S tier because you can see where your secret room and super secret rooms are. If you don't have. Like any curses that prevent you from seeing it or amnesia or whatever. BFF is going to be an S tier two because we can actually have familiars and stuff like that that boost them up to like bigger and better things, give more damage or give you additional effects or whatever. I say S tier two with. Uh, Hive Mind, because with Hive Mind, it gives you uh, bigger spiders, bigger 
uh, flies. And then there's certain fly items, I think, and I think certain spider items is bigger too. There's options. I think it's, there are options or more options. I say S tier because each boss room item, it gives you, uh, you know, a different choice. Instead of the one main choice. Bogo bombs, I say C range because it's, yeah, it gives you double bomb drops, but that's about it. It's still pretty good, but I don't really pick it up that often. S range for the card drops or for a starter deck because that converts uh, all the pills into cards and cards are very important in the game. It comes down to this point here with uh, mom's bottle of pill, not bottle of pills, but pill thing. It converts everything into pills, but then it's only good situationally. That's why I have it on D. It's the only good situation leave if you do find some good pills and you have something combined with like pill member well yeah if you have like a pill member that'd be really good but then it's also like if you got uh phd or if you got the uh the bad phd you get a bunch of damage and black cards and stuff i'm gonna put this magic scab as a uh D range, it is a damage up, but then the only difference with these are the uh, that damage up. It's a health up. The only difference with these is it gives you one luck up. Uh, let's see here. I'm putting this similar to chemical pier. It gives you a damage up for every other tier. Tears up is really good. This screw gives you tears up, and I think a shot speed too. So that's pretty good. Hot bombs. We're gonna put this as a B because yeah, I mean it leaves a fire trail. It's pretty, pretty good. Gives you five bombs too, but it's kind of tricky to use unless you're pop popping it down near a boss and they land on it. Fire mine, I'm gonna put as a B. It's pretty dangerous, but if you can able to like, um, if you're able to use it effectively, then it can do a lot of damage. Missing now, goes in the upper range. Unless you wanna be very wacky with your runs, it's not worth it. And you can't even roll out of it. I don't, actually, yeah. I don't think it works with D100 or D7. I think it works for, I, I think it works to get rid of it by a dice room. I can't remember. I think it just sticks there in general. Uh, dark matter shots. I put it as a, a, B, a A tier because it is damage. It gives you fear shots, but the problem with the fear shots is it can also throw off enemies. Now what is now what is that? Is that black candle or red candle? I gotta look here. Black candle, okay. Let's go back. Black candle. I'm putting that as an S tier. Gets rid of all curses on the floors. I mean, generated by the floor randomly. If you use a pail, why well, you kind of screwed. Like a cur like any curse pill. Um, Proctosis is pretty good. I put it as an A because, instead of an S because the, uh, the thing with Proctosis is it's a little bit more nerfed. It's still pretty good. God's favorite son. I never heard this song before. Is that like a part of the cut content? Or no, maybe it's credit music. Wait a minute. What are we doing with the credit? How's the song going? Oh, we got plenty of time. My God, I've been doing this for over an hour and a half. Um, see, what is this thing? Oh yeah, that's torn page two or something like that. I put it in the D range because it gives you a black heart, and if you got like a half heart left or something like that, it does like a uh, Necronomicon effect. 
that's about it. Ruin Mimicker. Now, I haven't really used it too much. It's it's kind of good. It's very similar to the blank card, I think, because depending on what the ruin you have, you know, it may take a bunch of charges or very little. It's I say B range because it's, you know, very similar to what they did with blank card. And it's actually much difficult, much more difficult to find, too. Let's see, what fly it item is that? I can't tell. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this as a B range. It's it's a pretty good fly item if you get hit. Now, the problem is, if, yeah, you get hit, it'll, it'll find the enemy and try to take it down with every, you know, not click, but every tick of damage, it hits them. You know, it hits them, you know, by ticks and stuff. You know what I mean? Um physical damage but the downside is if you got something like you know the lost you know you have to die in order for it to like activate so that's not advantageous I'm gonna put this sucker right here dry baby is S tier because you can hide behind dry baby and it'll block the shots coming in, especially if you have BFF and make it even better. And it causes this necromonic, Necronomicon damage if it gets hit enough times. Juicy Sack. I think Juicy Sack, if I recall with Juicy Sack, that's the one. Okay, I'm trying to remember now. It leaves a like a white trail, and I think it occasionally spawns spiders. Yeah, I think so. It's okay. It slows down enemies if they're walking behind you and stuff, following you. Okay, next up is a another Robo Baby. I think that might be Robo Baby 2.0, which I think you troll them and stuff. Very similar to the other one. And a whole lot of action. Riding Baby, I'm gonna give it a uh, a B tier. It generates flies, it's a good familiar. That's about it. It's not as good as what it used to be. But if you have something like Fishtail combined with Hive Mind, you're gonna get some potent flies. Headless Baby, we put this as a C tier because um, it's very similar to other familiars that have a trail. They, It's only good if enemies that can walk around and stuff like that can hit it. Does, doesn't do anything with uh, flying enemies. Leech, I'm putting it in the D tier. It can generate some hearts if it flashes onto an enemy but doesn't proc as much. It doesn't do as much damage, it's just kind of there. It, it doesn't really help either with like, I don't know if it does anything with the Keeper, with his health, but I know the Watson definitely doesn't do anything. Mystery Sag, I'm gonna put this as a B range. You can get like random like consumables to drop. This, well, you know, let's put this as a B range, because the thing with this fly is, it, it kind of goes into the diagonals. It's a diagonal, like crisscross and stuff like that. Patterns. It uh, does an explosive damage. It's really good if you got um, you got a nod light. If it can occasionally hit enemies, so you can use it the cheese. Bob's brain just sucks. I just had like a daily today, and it uh, wasn't great. With <laughs> keep getting hit with it. Um, we can be used, you know, occasionally. And if you, you have certain like bomb effects, you know, mimic him, I think, too. I'm gonna pause this for a second, get some more water. Okay, I'm back. Let's see, yeah, we did the, that one, okay. 
This is the Rager Fly. Uh, let's say F range. I think this is the fly that flies around in squares. Like, you know, manage the rooms. It's not that great. It's only gonna work once at a blue moon for certain enemies, but that's about it. Contributes to one third BFF, but that's, that's about it. Yeah, I'm putting that, well, yeah, I'm putting this in C range. It's not as good as what it used to be. And, um, this uh, little brim. Still pretty good, but not that great. Isaac's hard, I don't like it. I mean, you know what, let's put this in the D range. Let's give it a D range here. Because it has been improved a bit. It's still pretty good if you want to cheese the system, say like using blood banks or getting the curse rooms and stuff like that, but um, it's a little smaller. It does uh, damage, charge damage and stuff. Haunt, I'm going to put as a B range tier item. Yeah, we got a lot of long way to go here. Um, this does a little bit more damage. And it chases enemies around, giving fear damage and stuff, but fear can be an issue too sometimes. Dark Bomb, I'm going to put as a B. It's been nerfed a bit, but it's still pretty good, but it, sometimes it gives you some bad items. Can't really help it. Big old thick fly. I would say the thick fly would be at a C. Because it, it, it's a bigger orbital, it's a little slower. Why not? Sissy long legs. I I don't care for it too much. It generates fires occasionally, but that's about it. Uh, punching bag kind of sucks because like you don't know whether the enemies are going to be coming at you or coming at them, and then they can just divert. I uh, not divert. They can change your path, course the path from that thing to you. So it's kind of just hard to predict them. How to jump, I'm going to say a D. It's only good if you want to try to jump through gaps and contributes to one-third bookworm. D, infinity. I'm going to say B. Because sometimes you might ro roll a trash run, sometimes you may not. Kind of up in the air. You might be able to find, like... I mean, you can even reroll. I mean, it even spawns you into a random room. You gotta fight it too. I think that's what it changes with that. This one's a little better because it doesn't like teleport you to a random room and then fight other things. Still not that great, but yeah. This dice I just despise. I forget what it's called, but it uh, it rerolls enemies to random enemies, and I don't like using that. Not that great. Blank card. I'm putting the same tier as the uh, the Ruin Mimicker because it's very similar to the Ruin Mimicker. Depending on what card you got, it could be a lot less charges or more charges. Book of Secrets, we can put this as a B range because it may help you find Super secret rooms, it may give you random map effects and stuff like that. Downside is, you know, you might have to get more charges if you only get, like, say, the treasure map effect. Um, it's better than nothing if you don't have any, like, curses blocking you from seeing it. Spider box thing. I say a C range because you can generate a modest amount of spiders out of a box every two rooms, I think, or three rooms. Red candle. Let's see. Where's my other candle item? Where is it? <laughs> Man, it's hard to see here. Sorry. All right, here we are. I put it with the uh, blue candle too because it uh. It's very similar to the other thing. 
other candle thing, but it's, uh, I think it lasts a little bit longer. It's still pretty good with killing keepers, you know, in the shops and stuff like that and whatnot. Now let's see what this, this thing is. Okay, that's the heart one. Is that the actual, like, icon? It's got, like, a little heart in there? I never noticed that. I'm gonna put that in as an F. I, I don't really use it that often. Um, it just collects red hearts, and you can just dump them on the ground. That's about it. I guess you could use it situationally with, with, uh, with, got, with, uh, uh, characters that need red health. And you can just take it to other rooms or whatever. I put this as a D range, the flesh, because it, it, kill, it can kill off some enemies, turns them into poops. And you can even flush the, the poop enemies automatically too, certain ones. I put Satanic Bible up here in the A, A tier because that gives you a black card and then it gives you a guaranteed deal with the devil like boss room item. That's pretty good. But downside is black cards are not very good with the certain characters and you don't always get the greatest deals too. But it's better than nothing, I guess, for devil. It's better than having no devil deal items. Krampus' head, I'm going to say an A range because it's a four room item charge. It's still pretty powerful. It gives you a directional um, four way brimstone shot. The beam. I'm gonna say the bean slash uh, wait what? I think that's the same thing, isn't it? Is it even on here? Wait what? I mean, if you keep using it, it'll turn into that typically. Um, yeah, this thing, pay to play. I say a D range, because if you got the damage, you got the money, you can like kill off a bunch of things pretty fast, but that's about it. I put in this converter as a A range. Like, supposedly they nerfed it to where it's a three room charge, but to this, to, from what I can tell right now, I have, I could still use it as many times as I want. So I don't know, maybe something's glitched with the update, but it's really good. Downside is it's not good for like, like the keeper or the lost or anything. I say the blue box is an S tier because you can hold on to it and you can pop in whenever you get a boss room item or two boss room items guaranteed. Or if you have blue key, you get a guaranteed six six room the six uh, items. That's good. Unicorn stuff. I'm gonna put it as an A. It's far better than unicorn horn because it's a once a room thing and you can use that to like. Use orbitals to um, take things down with, with with that thing. Now this, that's Taurus. I think that's called Taurus. I don't like that. It gives you a, a pretty bad speed down, and then you have to wait in each of the enemy rooms to like get a visibility. The only thing that can be advantageous with that is like if you uh, have high enough speed and you can just generate it every room. And that could be advantageous. I'm going to say A range with this speed upgrade. Oh my god, where's my... Oh no! Oh, there it is. Oh shit. second here. Okay, we saved the light list. We saved the list. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, okay. Thank God. I don't know what I did wrong there, but thank God it saved our session. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, this is really good because 
Uh, it gives you a pretty good speed upgrade. Now this is, I forget what this one is. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to say an A range because it's not good for the loss or the keeper, but it's good for other characters. It gives you uh, gets you some hearts. I think it gives you some kind of a protection if you do get hit, and I think it, it doubles your uh, your health count for each item you pick up. I think either that or it was the bow, one of the two. Next up is uh, Leo. Yeah, that's Leo. I say B range because it's really good with breaking rocks, but it slows you down and it's not good if you're like the lost or you're like a flying character. You're trying to get over rocks that hide from enemies. Not great. Scorpio, I say a B range too because it gives you poison tears, but that's about it. Libra, I'm going to say mid-tier range, you will see. Because it's not great. It's been nerfed from pre repaired stuff. And it's it's only good situationally. I mean, you don't dare want to combine that with, like, um, say, bad PhD. Because I've had that happen, and that sucked. Oh, actually, wait a minute. This is the Poison Tears. What, what is this one? Oh, that's... I think that's a heart one, too. I'm trying to remember here. Poison one, yeah, this is what I want. Pis uh, yeah, Pisces. We're going to put that as an A, because that's Piercing and Knockback Tears. That's really good. Downside is, like, you can't push bombs away, I don't think. Now this, we'll put this to the S tier, that is... I forgot what it is. <laughs> I forgot the name, but it gives you old stats up. Aquarius. Let's see here. I say C range, because it, it creates a, you know, a trail of tiers, and just like with um, this here, the blood thing, is only good if you're, no wait, no this is, wait, this is Pisces, what is this? It's Pisces, what, what, what is this one? <laughs> Let me think. Yeah, Pisces would definitely put there, what is that one? Oh, this is going to bother me. I think that's also piercing too. Yeah, I think that's piercing. Is mascara? I'm going to say S tier. Because the, the tears down is you know, not as bad as what it was pre-repentance. So that's really good. Jairus' shadow. Again, S tier. You become Dark Judas and you get a huge damage buff. Maggie's Bow. I say A tier. It's only good for characters that has can benefit with health. You pick up a red heart, then it'll be equivalent to two red hearts for a pickup. Same thing with half a red heart be a full red heart. Plus, say every every hit after the first hit in a room, it, it's, it has to damage, I think, too. I think. It's either that or the, one of these other ones. Holy Mantle, I am definitely put that as an S tier. Once per room protection is excellent. This uh, Nacho thing, I'm putting this as a D range. It does give you some health. It gives you a stompy effect, but it slows you down considerably. The Magnet Tears, I'm going to put this as a D as well because that attracts enemies and it attracts objects. It's okay, depending on what you got. 
Cursed Eye, again, that's also going to be in the D range. If you do get hit while you're charging it, you can have a chance to teleport you out of the room. You gotta start over again. It's only good if you got, like, the Keeper. Not the Keeper, if you got, uh, the Lost. Because if you die, I mean, you, you don't teleport, you just die. Mysterious Liquid, I'm going to put this as a A range, A tier. That's extremely good. It does a lot of damage against enemies that are on foot. Only on foot, though. Gemini, I'm going to put this as a C range. Because it'll, it'll have like an it'll have a, like a type of orbital thing come out, but it does have some range. I think this is Kane's eye. It's an F range. It just goes around the map and it shoots occasionally. Blue baby's only friend. I'm going to say that's going to be a. It's between a D and a C range, honestly, because <coughs> it's pretty good if you got like, say, not leaf or something, or if you want to like cover an enemy up, you can't really reach so easily while you're trying to like dodge and stuff. Saps is chains. I'm gonna say a D. It can be used to block certain tiers. You can also like smash certain rocks and mushrooms. And you can swing it similar to like Guppy's hairball. Mongo Baby, I'm gonna say a C range. Because I think it kind of mimics your tiers a little bit with damage. This is a little better. And it contributes to conjoin too. This Isaac's Bull of Tears, it's like I haven't really found anything advantageous with using this thing, honestly. Like it's just whatever. You know, you charge it up by shooting it, and then it uh, shoots out tears, just standard tears, nothing like tear effects or anything. This isn't great either. Why am I not getting this? There we go. This is, uh, I forgot what the item's called, but it's not great because it, uh, it just teleports you to random rooms, special rooms and stuff like that. And randomly or random rooms. I mean, you could use it occasionally to hit the arrow room or whatever, but it's kind of a hit and miss. I do not like the scissors. It's not great. It's horrendous. It just cuts your head off, and it kind of throws me, it throws me off at least. But I mean, it cuts your head off, but then it's like it shoots out a bunch of like bloody, you know, pus stuff out of your um, out of your neck. So it's much more of a firepower thing. But it's not that great for me to use. Now here is something. I'm going to put this as a F range because with this uh, Breath of the Wind or whatever it's called. I still don't know what it entirely does. I can't seem to like use it right, use it correctly. I'm assuming if I know how to use it right, it'd probably be in the D range, but I, I just don't know. Now we got the Polaroid. So the Polaroid's pretty good if you have just Soul Hearts. It gives you like Polaroid invincibility, and it gives you the chest. So there's like four items in the chest. This one's probably a little better. The the negative, well, it takes you to the dark path. It does give you a uh, ne Necronomicon effect uh, when you take a damage, but it's not the big thing. It gives you some. Gosh, it gives you damage. What a Vico. I say maybe a B. As long as you got like good, good like stats and stuff like that, like good shot speed, it can go real fast. And depending on what kind of tier effects you have, you can do some wonky things with it. Soy milk. I don't, it's between B and a C range. It's not as bad as it looks. Uh, it can be really good for like really good tier effects stuff. 
Godhead, we're putting that up here to the S range because that's tracking. It's got aura, especially because it's got a big boost now with uh, with the damage AOE effect. Lazarus rags probably fits as a. Let's see here. It's a B, B range item. I'm just looking at the items here. <laughs> We're almost there. Uh, it spawns uses Lazarus, of course. So it gives you a little bit of stats and stuff, but that's about it. The mind, A tier. You can find out where all your secret rooms, every single room in the map, as long as there's no curses. I'm going to say this is a B range because it gives you a lot of red hearts, but it's not that great. It just gives you health. But it's only better than these ones down here because it gives you extra health. And uh, that's about it. This one's a little better. I think, what was it? Loss of the soul or something like that. Uh, it gives you soul hearts, but then it deflects the shots coming at you better. Uh, Dead Onion is pretty good. I put it to B tier uh, because the it, it decreases your shot speed, but then it increases like the piercing and stuff. Broken stopwatch. We're we'll putting the C tier because sometimes it could be a hit and a miss for rooms, but when it procs for a nasty room with, um, say, uh, the stopwatch effect is pretty good. And plus, like, if you have that kind of item, um, it helps with, like, you know, if you, if you can't afford stopwatch, if you can't find stopwatch, it's a, it's a, it's a cheaper t alternative. Boomerang kind of sucks. I, I can see it to where you can like freeze an enemy occasionally or pick up certain items across the map that you can't reach, but that's about it. C range for this uh, safety pin. It gives you shot speed. I think maybe range, but then Blackheart, that's about it. Caffeine pill, I put it as B because it gives you some speed and it gives you a random pill drop. Torn photo, we'll put it as a A range because that's really good. Uh, tears up. And I think it gives you some shot speed too. Liberty cap, also good. Good tears up. Gives you a red heart. But it decreases your shot speed a little bit. That's pretty good, though, still, nonetheless. I put the uh, mag uh, lucky key or whatever, lucky keys, as a C rage because it gives you a luck upgrade, a soul heart, a couple of keys, but that's about it. Same thing, too, with the uh, matchbook. Gives you a couple of bombs and a matchstick trinket. Now this is pretty good. This is uh, synth oil. That gives you some damage and stuff. And little stats like that, so it's really good. I'm putting this in the F tier because it's very similar like the other ones, these other food items. It's just redundancy. I'm putting this in the S tier. You can use this to duplicate items, and it can be very advantageous. Pale never could be put in as a C range, because some pails would be very similar to, like, the, you know, the Ruin and the card never could, but I put it in the C range because it's pills. It's not as great as, like, the cards and the Ruins. This is not as, like, screwy. I put this as a D range item. It generates coins occasionally, but that's about it. It only does. 
Mass poison damage, I say A, S range. I think it depends on your damage stat and then certain like calculations of things that makes things kind of neat. Uh, it helps with kill off certain enemies. Leaves a poison trail for a little bit. All right, this uh, this item here. Um, I put in the D range because. You can use it to crack rocks, or you can use it to cause like a, a fissure effect to, to attack enemies with. So it's better than the other bean items, I suppose. Oh, and also freezes them too, I think. Class cannon. It's between a D and a C range. You can see it in the D range. It's good. But if you get hit, then it breaks. But I think they changed something to where if you get hit, it doesn't break. No, no, it still breaks when you get hit, I think. If I recall it. But it doesn't break if you're doing like self-inflicted damage, like going to curse rooms or blood machines. The Mega, that's really good, it's really good. Bomb effect, very dangerous, but it does like a kind of a, a cross effect, like range. I put this as a B range, while it is a health item, it drops you a random trinket. And sometimes that random trinket can make a difference. Mom's pearl necklace were put as a C range because it gives you a range upgrade and it gives you a soul heart. And it also contributes to one third mother transformation. Car battery goes into the S range. It could double the effect of a spacebar item. This is a C range item. It duplicates your familiars. If you don't have a familiar, it'd be duplicating. Uh, it gives you a demon baby, I think. But if you got something like uh, the pill, the pill popper guy, it only duplicates him and nobody else. That's the only thing you got. Dunce cab, I say an F. Just, just something about having a V-shaped tear effect thing doesn't really work out too much for me. It, it throws me off. I can't really use it functionally in the game, honestly. Oh my god. Why is this doing this again? Thank you. Must be like resetting for some reason or I'm clicking something. Uh, nine inch nails, good damage up. Really good damage up. Incubus. S tier item too. It uh, increases your firepower and it, it it mimics your damage effect and stuff. Face reward just sucks. It mimics your tears once in a blue moon. It's not that great for Miller. Oh, we're never playing Delirium music, huh? The little chest is okay, it drops you some occasional items that may be useful. This angelic uh, familiar that goes around you. It's uh, not that great. Unless you got red hearts, it can occasionally drop a eternal heart if it gets hit a number of times within the floor, I think, or a room. I don't know which one it was. Fly items. I forget what these two things do. I think one of them. I think another one is like a blue fly. The door moves around, and the other one is a uh, best friend fly or distant admiration. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. You got so many fly aids in the game, it's sick.
these miniature bombs, they're okay. It, it, you know, when you put a bomb down, it gets out multiple little bombs. It's really good for like bosses and stuff and why not, especially if you have good tier effects with the uh, sad bombs, it could be a good synergy. Sticky bombs, well, you know what, put this in there. Sticky bombs, they can stick at the enemies, I think. And they can also spawn spiders, or a chance to spawn spiders, I think, too. Needs like a sticky web effect, too, on the ground. If a four, uh, D range, like, it's, you have to keep continuously firing in one direction to be useful. Like, it, I can see it being useful for, like, certain boss fights, like the, uh, the beast fight and stuff, but that's about it. Certain little fights. <sighs> Continuum, I'm gonna say A range, because they can go right through the walls and come back, and they can be really good for, like, certain things, like, you know, extended brimstone coming back again. Dolly is a good tears up. It also gives you a couple of random hearts. Alright, this is uh, Curse of the Tower. Not that great. Unless you got certain like little things going on and if you can use it situationally. Sure as heck don't want to have it as a loss or the keeper. Because they can kill you more easily. Battery Bay is a really good A tier. The mailer can drop you some batteries or give you little charges. As well as free some enemies occasionally. Deadeye is a S tier. As long as you keep hitting the enemies and stuff like that, it gives you a huge damage up. As to Holy Light, really good when it procs. Holy Light shots. As to. Um, host hat protects you from any damages. Restock, really good. If you got the money to buy a bunch of items, it's this is the way to go with it. Okay, let's see here. We're running out of room again. All right, let's try. Man, I, now it's getting harder to see. Huh. All right. This is a good, this is a good uh, item right here. Uh, bursting sack, I think it's called. It changes all spiders into good spiders. So that's really good when it comes to like, you know, dealing with those little, those little hectic things. It's a good beer B range. This is number. Two, I think it's called. So you can keep firing a certain amount of time until you spawn a random bomb. That's really good if you're short on bombs. They could also be very dangerous if you're um, not paying attention. But it has an AOE effect. But with the AOE effect, if you got the poop enemies, then it could heal them too. Let's see, what, what is that item? I think that's the poop. It's the duplex, right? Yeah, it is. F range. Yeah, it causes, it increases the uh, <laughs> head box slightly, but I, I don't care for it too much. Money talks thing, I forget what it's called, but it opens doors that it requires keys with coins. It's extremely good if you can get it early on in greed or greedier mode. Or if you're like short on keys in the regular mode, especially if you've got Guppy's tail. Good thing to go. Eden's Blessing, S tier. Gives you a modest tiers upgrade, plus for your next run it gives you a random item. The Pokeball, I'm gonna say an F tier. 
You can capture certain enemies and then you can release them and do whatever, but then they can die pretty easily. Tier detonator, not that great. I mean, you, you press the button and explodes the tears. You can only use it after so many rooms too, so not that great. Gertie is okay. If you, I mean, charge and stuff, I might occasionally eat him. Bombo, I'm gonna say he's a B tier. He's a pretty good familiar. He's a pretty good familiar, but problem is he eats up pennies and he could be a pain in the butt. Believe it or not, I'm gonna put this dice here that rerolls rocks. It's pretty good because to some degree, I'm gonna convert some rocks to see if we can try to get some um, um, tin rocks or something like that, or try you know explosive like barrels or something or pots. You can most certainly do that. Oh, yes, yeah, this thing. The sensor, I think it's called. It, uh. It, uh. Slows down an area around you really good. Key Baker! You're gonna be sticking with. with. the bum right here. Yeah, the bum. Picks up keys just like with the key bum, uh, just like with the regular bum, only just keys. And keys are more precious than pe well, just as precious as pennies. But he can give you some good items occasionally. Ruin bag. I'm going to put this as a A range. Well, it's still a really good item. It's been nerfed, but you get some ruins, really good ruins. Actually, this is actually this is the angel thing I was talking about earlier. If it gets hit, then it gets hit a number of times. Okay, okay, this this is the fast one, yeah. So this one, if it gets hit a number of times, then it drops into eternal art. Betrayal, I put it into the C. It's it's good if you get the if you get the hearts for it. Uh, it makes all your enemy it makes all the enemies like charmed and they go after each other for a short while. Now that is the uh, zodiac sign. I put it as a D because you could, you could get screwed by it pretty easily, depending on whatever procs, whatever on whatever floor. You can get something like uh, um, Libra or whatever, and get, that could be kind of bad. Serpent's Kiss. I put it as a B. You can, you can still get black hearts, but not as much as you. Can used to, but it's still poison damage as well. Has a chance to give you black cards if you kill an enemy. If it procs with the black card damage. Marked, I'm gonna put it as a D. It's better than better than the F range, pre-repentance. So at least you can actually press the control button and stop firing. It's still kind of, it's still pretty bad. Next we've got, um, What is that VR thing called? Tech X. That's right. Tech X. Even though they nerfed it, it's still really good. Do a lot of damage. It, it goes through it goes through everything. Piercing, whatever. Razor blade. I know razor blade, but the portal blade thing. It's only good if you're it's only good for little things. I don't think you can exploit the uh, the nation machine anymore with it. Tractor beam's really good. You got something that's like, you know, could join. You could split all your tiers into one path instead of all three paths. Same thing with dense cap. If you got dense cap, you get this thing, and it'll like, fix the issue. God's flesh just sucks. 
I get the appeal if you do proc an enemy, they get really small. You could step on them and kill them. <laughs> but I don't know if that would like. We got an enemy that is a, uh, a champion and it, it blows up. I don't know if that would, would hurt you or not. Step on it. Out of the void, I'm going to say a C tier. Doesn't give you black hearts anymore, but it does do some good amount of damage. It's not as good as what it used to. The sword I'm going to put as a D tier. It's only good. It's only good for different different scenarios, especially if you got not lay. it could be pretty helpful. Sticky shots, explosive shots. I say B tier. It can explode. It has a chance to explode on enemies or whatever, whatever it sticks to an enemy. It can be kind of dangerous. Chaos is really good. Put it in the A tier. It, it rearranges the item pool. But the downside is you may not get the greatest advantages with it too much. I put this as an S tier, uh, Robo Spider or whatever. Uh, it gives it gives you all the stats you need for the health for each of the enemies, including bosses. And it freezes enemies occasionally. Yeah, and then it contributes to Spider Spider transformation. Farting Baby sucks. It's very similar to Dry Baby, only it just farts. I put this in the D tier, uh, GB bug, because they fix it up to where you can convert items or enemies into something random, but that's that's about it. Not really situational enough, I'm afraid. Now this dice one is called the D8. It can randomize your stats. It could be good or bad. It kind of depends. You can just keep rolling. But it'd be extremely useful if you got something like rock bottom that it would just constantly add stats. It's like nuts. Do that. Purity. It's situational. If you pick it up, it could be a random stat increase like damage, speed, fire rate, whatever. But if you get hit, then you kind of lose that aura, and you go down to the next room, and it could be something else. It could be bad or good. What is that item right there? Oh, Abaddon. It's an F tier. Like it, I get it. You can use you can use Abaddon with like Dull Razor. And do an AOE effect or certain things like that, but you, the only thing is you don't generate black cards as much as you used to. Empty vessel, really good if you don't have any red hearts. You could fly around and stuff. <laughs> Plus, if you don't have red hearts, then you, you can occasionally spawn a shield. It covers you. It's only that kind of situational thing that helps you. Evil Eye. It's okay. It can come out and start firing the direction you're firing at. Not a whole lot of advantage with having it. Lusty Blood. Goes into the A-S tier. I mean. The more enemies you kill, the more damage you have in the room. Very good. Of course, that effect goes away when you leave the room, of course, and you start over. Cambion Conception, Sea Range. You may have a chance to spawn a familiar. Problem is, the, you know, the familiar is random. There's so many familiars in the game, you might get. Chances are you, you're better off. You, you, you get a better chance of getting the trash one than. 
Immaculate Conception is actually worse. I'd say, I dare say it's a F range. Because the times I've had it, I collected so many soul hearts, I only got like one familiar. Maybe two, but you have to get a lot of them. And it's not really worth it entirely. There's options. I'm going to put that as a S tier. That gives you a double item room. So you get a, an extra item of choice to choose from instead of just one. Crown of Light, S tier 2. Especially if you're playing like The Lost, where, I mean, if you get hit, you know, you proc in your shield and stuff, and you still have the uh, thing. But then if you're playing any other character that has red hearts or whatever, or get hit, then you lose that effect, but it's a lot of damage. Oh crap, did I, oh, I spilled my water. Oh, oh well, it's not that much. I didn't spill on anything weird. Deep Pockets, I'm gonna say an S tier. No way, is that Deep Pockets? Wait a minute. I'm looking here. I apologize. I got, I'm going to have to like zoom in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I think that is deep pockets. Okay. Yeah, Deep Pockets is an S tier because that increases your your money capacity from 99 coins to 999. That gives you more purchasing power ability. Then it occasionally spawns you three coins instead of like one. Nope, the room player. Succubus, S tier. If you're familiar, it flies around and occasionally causes a bunch of damage. It gives you a little bit of a boost when you're in its aura. Plus, it has an aura to cause damage to enemies. Fruitcake, A tier. It can be very dangerous at times, but it's pretty good. Tier effect, you could save runs or hurt them. Golden Teleporter 2.0. I, it's really good. As long as you can find all the rooms, you can use it, and you use the charges wisely. You can find IM error rooms pretty easily. Black Powder sucks. It still sucks. Like you do a circle, and then it creates kind of a, uh, a space where if something gets inside the circle, it causes damage. That's it. Love Toots. F range two. <laughs> um, it, it's just just like with the bean items, only it just causes like a light love effect. That's it. What are we doing on time here? Oh my lord, two and a half hours. Oh my god, this is so long. Okay, next one. Glowing Hourglass. Definitely goes in the S tier. You can use it for so many things. If you want to go check out, like, curse rooms and there's nothing good in there, you can revert back and not hurt yourself as much. You can use it for, like, the Tainted or Anointed Lost stuff. If you do get hit, you lose your, uh, your holy mantle charge and you're about to die or something, you can just revert back. You can check out item rooms and if the item rooms are not great, you can just reverse out of there and increase your planetarium chance to the next floor or whatever. Same thing with shops. I mean, there's, there's a lot of a lot of great possibilities with this thing. Two room charge, I think it is. Really good. Really good. Highly recommend it. 
protection thing, I'm going to say a C. Because it does deflect some tears are coming at you. It's whatever. Sackhead. B range. It's not as powerful as what it used to be with Afterbirth, you know, compared to Afterbirth Plus, but like, it's still pretty good if you're struggling with keys and bombs and stuff like that, little things. You can find a little bit more sacks than usual in the wild, and they can help you. Nightlight, I'm going to put this as a D range. There's some situations you can use it, but if you're trying to fight mom or something, or especially hush or delirium, it's a bullet hell, and those tears are going to be irregular and be hard to dodge. All right, this is a uh, another fly item. And this, this is, yeah, this is. I don't know what these other fly items were. I know some of them do certain little things. But then they kind of give you like an orbital effect, but they have like different ranges and stuff and different ways to interact. I say a D range. It just follows you around. Distant admiration. This uh, Minecraft, or <laughs> say D range, because you could use it once per room as a way to like for bombs. I mean, as, as a kind of a bomb TNT thing, you can use it to open up uh, secret rooms or blow up pots for certain rocks and stuff. Believe it or not, I'm going to put the PJs as a C tier because it's not effective with the Lost or even the Keeper for like getting health but other guys to get it heals with the, the red hearts and gives you soul hearts you have red hearts if not it just gives you soul hearts for other characters that don't have red hearts hey the keeper we're going to put that as an a s tier give, occasionally gives you some uh some coin hearts not coin hearts but coin uh coins from your tears when you hit enemies pretty good Pop a fly. I'm actually going to put this in A. I found out recently, some weeks ago, it mimics your damage based on your t based on your damage, and then it flies around, follows you around, and shoots at enemies and stuff. It's very similar to Distant Admiration. Now this baby. Um, Duality baby or something like that it's called something like that You can get behind it or whatever and you can sh do double shots. I think those shots also They're not piercing I don't think I think they're spectral or something too Glitter bombs S tier They've nerfed it though but it's pretty good still, nonetheless. You can get some good goodies out of it occasionally. I think this is my shadow. It sucks still. It sucks. I think if you get, I think it's the one that gets hit. I think that's the one that either gets hit, and then it, it spawns like these little creatures, or it's the one that just follows you around. It's like a shadow. Either way, it sucks world, but... <laughs> this fly generator is pretty good. Put it in the B tier. Kill after, after you kill off so many enemies, you can generate flies by pressing the spacebar button. Anytime you want, as long as you get the flies in there. Loki, I'm going to put this as a D tier. Familiar, it just it shoots four ways, of course. Not that great. Milk, I don't care for too much. You have to take like health damage for it to proc, and it gives you a slight tears up for the room. This dice thing I put as a C because you could use it to um, re-roll a room with enemies and try to get a prize out of it after you clear it again. Binky is really good for a tears up and it gives you a soul heart too. See, so yeah, I think that one next one is right here is mom's box. Yes, it is. 
Mom's box, I'm going to say it's a S tier, weirdly enough, because it gives you a luck upgrade and then it doubles the effects of any trinket you're holding on to and it generates trinkets. Kidney Stone is going to be in the D, D, uh, the D tier because um, I mean, you know, you, you get your tears stuck and stuff like that. You have to tap fire or hold down the button or whatever combination. It's annoying. But it's extremely useful is say you have rock bottom. Then you can get a huge tears up. It's crazy. Mega saying, hey, I'm going to put this at a A range. Now, if it was the old Mega Saiyan Head from Afterbirth Plus, I'd put it in an S range. But the problem with this now is it's still powerful, um, but I don't think it lasts as long. And then not only that, it um, it's harder to control your character as you're going through, especially you're landing on spikes and stuff like that. And, you have to be extra cautious when you use it. This crown here, I'm going to put it as a D. It's, all, it's only good if you have one red heart. It gives you just a modest amount of, of stats. That's it. I'm going to put uh, the razor, apple razor thing. It's an S tier item. It uh, it gives you tears up, and then it gives you an occasional razor blade. Does a little bit of extra damage to the razor blade. The pencil, I'm going to say an S tier. Every so many shots, you're going to just spit out a bunch of them at once. But you have to be careful with certain things like Epicac, otherwise you're going to have a barrage. <coughs> Dog Tooth, I'm going to say, is an A. Because when it howls, I mean, it'll howl if there's a secret room, any secret rooms. And then it'll bark if it's in a room. If you're, if it'll bark if you're in a room that has a crawl space. There's a crawl space. If it, uh, and if it howls, that means there's a secret room somewhere nearby and within that room that it's adjacent to it. Halitosis, a D range, it gives you some occasional poison damage, aura and stuff. I could have sworn I would cover that item, I think that's another farting bean. I'm going to put that as an F tier. Shard of Glass sucks butt. Because if you got red health or something or any kind of health, then you're gonna keep blading and you're gonna keep getting hurt. And the only way to heal is if you pick up a red heart. But I don't know if that would work for characters like the blue baby. Maybe you have to pick up blue hearts to stop it. I don't know if, they, if that's a thing or if they patched it to fix that recently, but. Metal plate I'm gonna put as a B. It's supposed to be something similar to Mask of Infamy. Only the problem I have with it is it doesn't proc as much, I don't think, and it gives you a soul heart. I agreed, I'm putting this as an F tier. Because every time you fire, then what happens is, or not every time you fire, every so many shots it, it shoots out an eye. I agreed shot. And then it, it costs a coin. And if you miss, well, you lose a coin. And you can keep doing that pretty easily. But if you're able to proc it well enough on the enemies, you can get a bunch of money out of it. If you're lucky enough. Tarot card. A tarot cloth that's really good, S tier. Even though they nerfed it a bit here and there with, uh, with things, uh, with it. You know, the after, uh, after birth, the uh, repentance stuff. 
it's still pretty good. Good, good tier effect. I'm putting this uh, Veracross Veins as a D range item because occasionally you can, you can get some pretty cool effects with tier. Tears coming out of you very strong enough if you do get like hit randomly. Um, some tear effects are gonna be very bad, but that's about it of what I can do. I mean, you can use dull razor, you can trigger the same effects too. Alright, now this one is tier because it doesn't have the drawbacks like it does with. Uh, Cricket's body, and it, it splits out the bone tiers, but you have to be very careful if you got certain like things like Ipecac. Polydactyl, I'm going to say a B. It drops you a random trinket, I think, or pill, or card, something like that. I think it gives you an extra trinket space too, so that's not bad. Dad's <laughs> lost coin, it's going to be a D range, it gives you luck. Range and a free coin. Moldy bread, you know where that goes. F range, because it's also like. It's also a health item, it doesn't really do much. This is cone head, this goes with, let's see. My metal plate. All right, here. It has a very similar effect compared to uh, cone head. Belly button. Again, it has a similar effect to this. Only it just gives you a random whatever. You know what? Let's put this as a C range. It doesn't give you an extra space for. I think it was either item, either it's uh, cards, pills, thing, or it's a uh, um. I'm sorry, I'm getting tired. <laughs> or it's a uh, trinket, trinket expander thing. Now, what is this item here? Oh, burger tears. Definitely an S tier. Stick on the enemies. I mean, if they jump or whatever, fly, then you can keep sticking them anyways. This is like either the glau glaucoma thing, or if it's this is a cane's eye. One right of the two. They're still bad. Both of them are. Either you got a familiar that's flying around shooting glaucoma tears, or if you got the other one where it just shoots concussive tears for yourself. Pairs of toys, still an S tier, even though they nerfed it a bit. It still shoots a lot of flies and spiders occasionally. I have Belial. I'm going to say a S range because it gives you a little bit, just a tinge bit of um, tracking. And if it passes through an enemy. <coughs> then it uh, causes extra damage, too. I'm also putting this as an S range, S tier thing. Sephiric tiers, because you can destroy rocks, you can find secret rooms with it, amongst other things. Glyph of Balance, I'm going to put it as an A. Because after you get so many consumables, they can drop you other consumables. And then the recent updates, Lost no longer gets soul hearts from the Glyph of Balance. Amongst other, like, certain characters. So that's real good. Joystick, I'm going to put this as an S tier. You know, it's a slight tears up. It's you got better directional shot, shots for things. So you can do much more creative shot patterns instead of being restricted or no you're not we may it won't be as restricted the shooting certain ways get 
the aging is pretty good. It's gonna be an A tier. Kill off one enemy, the nearby enemies start getting like this chain of effect. Start killing things. This is a B range tier item, the finger. You can do some pretty good damage with it, but it's not terribly perfect. There's that shadow. Miomir Shadow, whatever it's called. It just follows you around, and that's it. And it does damage with anything that's following behind you, of course. Depression, I'm going to say B tier, because occasionally, I mean, it leaves behind a trail of tears, but then it occasionally gives you the holy light effect coming down on enemies and stuff. Hush, I mean, little hush sheets. Not that great. I mean, you could you could put you could position them to uh, on enemies or bosses and stuff, but then it's like, but then you try and like shoot and do whatever else, and it's it's not that great. A little monstro. I'm gonna say an A tier. A little monstro. That's quite a bit of damage for a familiar. And it uses shots similar to Monster's Lawn, of course. Keen Baby, like, supposedly it does track in tears or something like that with the sucker, but I just despise the Christ I don't mean to use that ornery language, but like, yeah. It's not that great. Chubb, I'm gonna say A range too. Even though he's a little slow, he can actually cause a lot of damage. So what is this other stuff here? What is that? Oh, that's the broken... Uh... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. So that... <laughs> I... That's kind of funny how they have that in there. I'm going to say F range because, like, you got to get that thing fixed. And you can't use it until you get it fixed and it's a four-room charge. So that's a broken version of Glass Cannon. We are on time with the music. We still got plenty of time. Plan C. I say A range. Because you, you would have to have a plan to like respawn yourself. Depending on what like from what boss you're trying to take down. You can take down the final, like, beast boss without any kind of lives, and you'll be fine. But things like Delirium, you need, like, Lazarus rags. If you, well, you spawn as Lazarus, and that'd be kind of bad if you haven't complete, if you already completed as Lazarus. But if you've got, like, Inner Child, or if you got the Anointed Lost, or Tainted Lost, you got Birthright, you could do that too. Little things like that. I don't think Magic it just depends on kind of the spawn things you're doing. I think it's situated. D1. I'm going to say it's an S tier. Potential S tier. Could be an A tier. Um, helps you to duplicate an extra consumable that's on the ground. You don't have a choice of if there's more than one kind of consumable on the ground, different one. Void. I'm going to say A tier here. Well, it could be in the S tier. A tier is where it should sit for it. Uh, it's still stuck up items, but it doesn't have as much of an effect with stats. I mean, it still does, but you gotta keep eating stuff with it. And you can still, like, <coughs> suck up, like, spacebar items and use them for whatever in the future. Pause button, I'm gonna say a D range. Because since they nerf uh, orbitals, it's not that great as it used to be. You can still use it situationally, but like, it's whatever. Trinket Smelter should be an A. You can just, just smell any kind of trinkets you got in your inventory, especially if you don't have the space for additional ones. You just carry that wherever you go. Or just use it situationally when you're in the shop. K 
compost, sea range. It's not as good as what it used to be, of course, but it still works if you can generate enough flies and if you can get something like car battery with it and uh, nine volt and you know things like that, it may make it a little better. Now, I know Ed McMillan talked about this item, trying to make it look better, but it still sucks for me. In my opinion, it sucks. Um, the data miner, not that great. All things considered. The clicker, believe it or not, S tier. If you want to try to get something done with another character, and you're like really close to like getting to a certain point where you haven't completed something, there's your ticket there. Downside is it'll eat up another item or whatever. Your most recent item. Mama Mega. Definitely an S tier. Especially now they they got it updated to where if you got a golden bomb, you can use use that Mama Mega freely, and that's it. And if you have something like um Book of Virtues, and you use that with a golden bomb, they get these like little golden bomb things, right? As a um, as an orbital, and then if you have the uh, the snip tools, this, the um, it's a trinket. It snips the bombs. Then it'll it snip those bombs that you know you break the when you break the. Um, the wisps, there'd be golden troll bombs, but then when you have the snipping things, it turns to golden troll bombs, you do in the next floor, and they keep using Mama Mega every floor, in theory, if you got the right set of items. But Mama Mega itself is really good if you're trying to get the boss rush, clear flows, uh, floors, <coughs> and stuff. It, it even gets you to like, hash two and whatever else. Now this right here, this is very similar to like the other one. I'm gonna say B. This is, uh, let's just say this is weight what? This is far better than the beam because you can break rocks and it charges on its own. Like constantly, even if there's no enemies around, you can use it to get secret rooms, whatever. I think they fixed it to where you can finally get it now. Quick opinion, we're gonna put this as an A range. I uh, S tier. Even though you can occasionally like not proc it. I've had times where I proc it and it's just like so much goodness. It's really good. Doll Razor, I'm gonna say S tier, even though I haven't really used it much. I've used it in the past and it's helped a lot with like stuff. Pre-repentance. And it still works. Not as well, but it still works pretty darn good. this meat peel thing, potato peeler. C range, you get a little bit of damage if you got enough health, and you can generate a bunch of like, Cuban meats, and you can go out of control to be able to get like a bunch of red hearts, like crazy. Metronome, I'm gonna put this as an F tier. Cause you don't know what you're gonna hit. It's a space bar item when you use that. It can kill you, or it can do something nasty to you or something. D Infinity. This thing. I had it in that my my latest greedier run. And you can break the game pretty darn easily. You can switch to anything you want as a dice. And you can just roll with like just a bunch of stuff. You can roll to a D hundred and you can still keep the dice. I think you can still keep the dice for the D hundred. Eat and soul. I'm gonna put this as an S tier, even though it's. I, I think this is. I think this is eat and soul. Uh, put it as an S tier because you, you charge that up regularly, and then I think you only get. I think it gives you only angel deal items. I think, or it's. Is that right? Oh no, it's based on the item room, I think. It either gives you angel deal items or it's based on the item room you dump it in. In either case, it's really good. It's P. 
pill guy sucks. But I put him at D range because if you have a pill, you can poison a, a whole room with the AOE effect, and I think it occasionally drops you pills too. Yo, listen is pretty good. I put it in the A range because I think it's still bugged to where it hovers around a rock and there's like nothing really there when you bomb it. <laughs> but it's good to find where you need to go for like. Um, when you look for. Uh, let's see here. That's what I thought that was. Uh, when you look for. Um, Secret rooms and stuff. Panic po power, that's kind of, I'm gonna put it in a C range, mid range. I get the appeal, the less health you have, like red hearts, like the more damage you're gonna do. But then you're also in the risk of like dying easily. Jacob's ladder. Excellent damage, Jeb, I say. ST, or it's not damage yet, but it it causes static damage and it changes it changes with other uh, tiers and the more the faster tier rate it is, the better for you with it. Ghost Pepper, even though they nerfed it, it's still an S tier. I think it scales to your damage, or if it just scales to a certain like percentage of your damage. The size of the fire is it blocks stuff and whatever. Your euthanasia, S tier, especially if you get something like perfection or a high lock stat, then you can like destroy stonies and whatever, and it can cause a bunch of damage if it procs against like bosses or whatever. These undies are not that great, honestly, because like, the problem with them is, Oops. They, uh... They just only give you some invis invisibility. That's it. I mean, you might stick around on different enemies and stuff, but that's about it. Duality. Definitely an S-tier item. With duality... It, it doesn't matter if you got a devil deal. President or something. You still split... You still t combine the devil deal with the angel deal to one. So you have choices if you want to go to a devil deal on one floor or an angel deal on another on this floor. You can do whatever. Also an S tier is Eucharist. I think it's called a Eucharist. It is basically the goat head of angel deals. So you get guaranteed angel deals with it. I think even when you take a devil deal it's pretty good. Like a sax is a is a A range um, item. Pretty good. Drops you occasional sax. Um, it's a familiar too, so it kind of follows you around. So that kind of helps things. Greed Scarlet, I say that is a B range. It's good for characters that has. Health, especially keeper. The more health, the more coins you've got, the more health you get. The Z, I, I put this as a uh, a D range. It does occasionally give you uh, give you um, gives it shot, and it slows down the enemy. But that's about it. That's all it does. This is uh, Black Thorn, Big Thorn, something like that. It procs like uh, Big Thorn's hand coming down and, you know, grabbing like enemies or slapping them or anything. Really good, really good stuff. Brown Nugget, F range. You can spawn as many flies as you want with this thing, but that's, that's it. And they're not that great for familiars. Pokey go. I say probably D range. You might occasionally run into like um, 
you might occasionally run into something like um, I don't know, like for those to shoot brimstone or something, they can be like really powerful, or you can add something like something very weak and be just useless. It's kind of a situation, though, it can help you or it can hurt you. Backstabber, I'm going to say at the C range. It's very similar to um, uh, Betrayal. You get hit and it does a similar effect. Strong, I'm going to say it's an S range. The more damage you have, the more it'll... It's calculated by the damage you have with the health of the uh, with the enemies and bosses and stuff. Still pretty good. Razor just sucks as a Oberdo. It's supposed to, like, if it hits them, then it can, like, do some kind of, like, bleeding effect. They where it hurts them. Not hurts them, but it just... Yeah. It's not really great. It doesn't like really damage him like any other kind of orbital. Also, this orbital sucks too. This uh, eyeball thing. It uh. We can actually use the F11 key here. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Um, it's not that great either because it's just like. How does how does this look in OPS? That looks fine. Three hours, holy Christ. So it just orbits you. I think it causes damage if something hits it. But then it also shoots random tears and can throw off your bombs pretty easily. Next we've got, um, what is this thing? Oh yeah, Delirium. I say an F range because he takes a bunch of charges, he dies pretty easily, doesn't really do a whole lot. Angry Fly, also F range, it um, just flies around a certain enemy and then it just causes AOE effect around other enemies. And we're, all, we're, we're getting there by the way. Sorry about taking this so long, but uh, all right. Let's see what else. Yeah, pretty much that's what it does. It's just angry. It's one third Beals above. This is a pretty good A range item. Black hole. They've improved it too. It uh, sucks enemies in. They can destroy rocks nearby and whatever else. Every four room charge, I think now. Bozo, B range. If you get hit, it has a chance to spawn you a uh, a rainbow poop, which, which you can use if you got red hearts. You can heal. Gives you a slight damage up. Gives you some clown makeup, cosmetic, and that's about a hit with that. Broken modem. You're lucky to get the 30 day dailies. Get the broken modem and find it. Really good. S tier. It can cause some stuttering in the game, which it's, it's normal for this effect to go on. So it, slows, it stops the enemies in their tracks for a little bit. Same thing with stopping some of the tears, and it gives you occasional item drops too, like additional items. Present S tier. You take it to any room you want, and based on the room that you have it in, it's going to be in that item pool. It's going to use it for him. And I've had it used occasionally in secret rooms and found some excellent items in it. Sprinkler, it's going to be in the B tier. It's pretty good, especially if you use it in Greedier. Or Greed, yeah, Greed or Greedier. Or Boss Rush. Or things like that. Or if you got beat, or if you got the 4.5 volt, you can spot a bunch of them if you're like in a big boss fight. Fast bombs. I'm gonna put this as a D tier. It's not a great item. It makes your bombs go off a little faster. Gives you five bombs too. I'm gonna to put uh, body in a box 
as a B tier because it's kind of cool to see the different formulas and they have different tier effects each floor you go on. So they could help you or they could hurt you. It could, well, it doesn't really hurt you so much. You can do some wacky stuff. I'll put this little Delarium, little Delarius or whatever it's called, at D tier. Because it's a random, because it turns into random familiars. And you can turn into the Keeper, or not Keeper, you can turn into like Bob Brain or something that can kill you when you least suspect to hurt yourself. Or any other kind of certain familiar, it could be bad. But sometimes it can turn into some good things that can help you. But it's random. I put these jumper cables as an S tier because kill so many enemies, you charge a little bit of your space bar. Coupon is like an S tier too. You, you can get free devil deals if you want to. Um, without costing you any hearts, or it doesn't even affect you with uh, deal with the devil president. And uh, you can also like purchase. Um, I, you can get free items out of the shop randomly. Car battery, you can double the effect. This telekinesis thing, I'm going to put it as a D. Because you can use it situationally to protect yourself. It's a little better in repentance, but it, it, has, it uh, collects the tears that comes at you for a short period of time. And you can fling them back or whatever. Moving box, I'm going to say, is an A. Because you can use moving box to collect all sorts of stuff in a room. It could be like item pedestals, it could be um, just little things in general, just any kind of consumables. And then you can dump it elsewhere. Say, like, you find a secret room, and it's got, um, it's got a, like a reroll machine, then you can use the reroll machine to reroll whatever you want to reroll based on the item roll pull. So that's cool. The static tiers is an S tier 2, very similar to Jacob's Ladder. <clears throat> Leprosy sucks. It, uh, it breaks apart the more you get hit, but then those little uh, little orbitals don't really do a whole lot, and I don't think it can handle a whole lot of damage. Little, little Harbingers is a little better this time. Put in the C range because you can get occasional like bomb fly, but bomb flies have been fixed too a little bit. Um, really good if you got like Nod Leaf, you can just let it chase after whatever. Mr. Me, S tier. You can use that to open up Boss Rush. I think you can Boss Rush doors, right? You can steal like devil deal items, items of the shop, things like that. Or you can also damage like enemies and bosses with it. And Jack Prism, I'm gonna say this is a B range item because you would, you would have to hit the tiers well enough to, you know, when it gets in the crosshairs of this, to split them off the multicolored tiers. It's really good though, but you gotta hit them <laughs> just right, have the right tier rate. Eyeball tiers, S tier. We're doing on time here. Oh my God. I've been going after this for a while. Uh, yeah, it's S tier because, like, you yeah, have the bounce around. The better tier effects you got, the better. And same thing with tier rate, shot speed, and whatever. Death's list, I'm going to say this is a B. You proc it, you might get some good stats or good items. Or trash. But it's kind of difficult to, to proc it if you're not getting the enemies in order. Hemalacria, S tier. Yeah, you get a slight like uh, tears rate down, but it's really good, really powerful. Uh, 
this one, I forget what the name was, S tier. Like if you have a really good tiers rate, you can actually kill Dillarian pretty darn quickly with that sucker and certain other enemies if you got everything lucky enough to do it. Trisagdian, S tier two. Real, it's, it's been buffed too in Repentance, so it's really good. It shoots these kind of these holy brimstone like effect shots out. Backpack also S tier. Gives you an opportunity to carry a second spacebar item on you. Blanket, I say S tier too. Gives you a holy mantle for every boss room. So it, it gives you the advantage for everybody. Now, it gives you a better advantage if you got health uh, because it gives you soul hearts. Sacrificial altar, I'm going to say this is a B. Because it could be a hit and a miss depending on how many familiars you got and what you roll once you sacrifice them. You can get some good devil deals or really horrible ones. The spearer, D range, not bad, but it's not good either. It's not, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad, but not F tier, but it's not too good either. It causes uh, different trail effects. Like different trail patterns as well as like different like spewing like spewing effects on the ground. All right, next one. Is uh, marbles. It spawned you a few trinkets and if you do get a chance to get hit with health damage, then you can swallow the trinket, which can be very beneficial, but then it's occasional. Doesn't get proc, it may not. It's kind of a hit or miss, and you gotta have the health have to have the health in order to proc it. Alright. This little egg thing. D tier. You could you could put spawn something very powerful out of it, very similar to like Pokego. Only you gotta get hit in order to proc it. Skipping stone. I'm going to say this is an A tier because um, we're still not even done. Jesus Christ! This was skipping stones. Um, well, it could be really good when it comes to like uh, certain tier shots or whatever. Other ones can be very like dangerous. You gotta be very careful with it. If you ever cack and stuff. C tier for this uh, bone heart thing. It gives you a bone heart with some red hearts, and that's only good if you got characters that are, have um, who have like you know health. But it's even more beneficial if they can get red hearts because you can fill up that bone heart container. Slip rib is a D. Not slip rib, this is like an orbital rib thing. It's a D. It can occasionally block shots coming at you, but not by much. Holy poop is a little better. At a C range, if you get hit, it can drop down a holy poop and it can deflect some, some hits on you with it. Not all of them. Um, chance to, and then, um, yeah, and then it gives you an increased fire rate and damage, I think, too, if you're in the aura. Slip rib, D range, it can, it can damage enemies and stuff when you use the poker thing. Uh, that's about it, what it does with it. Book of the Dead. Uh, I'm going to say this is a A range item. Because at least with Book of the Dead, clear out a room, you can spawn bonies. Or like bone shards to protect you. 
what is this item here? All dads rain. Man, over 700 items, keep in mind. I'm running out of space too with this cheat sheet. If we get any tinier, I'm probably not gonna see anything, be able to see anything. I can't even get any tinier, okay. <laughs> Dad's rain S tier. Because it anything that gets in the aura, it'll like freeze it for a while. Boss is just sometimes thing. Still pretty good. Nonetheless. This is okay. This is an A range. This um this item. It'll spawn you a bone heart, but then it gives you like it gives you a bone heart, but then it's like it gives you uh tears up too. Jaw bone, I'm gonna say this is a B, because it can help you get like consumables across the map if they're too far away and you can't reach them. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> I'll put this as a C range because they convert all your hearts into bone hearts and it's only good for characters that uh only good for characters if uh they can benefit from it, but you know, getting health. Especially red health. Um Shovel pieces! They suck. That's why this is an F range here. Let's see. Is there something in that other spot? There we go. The reason why they're in this tier is because they just suck. Because the top part, even right here, you have to like dodge mom coming down with her foot. And it's only, you know, good if you're like trying to unlock you know, the forgotten. The shovel's only good. Because the foot doesn't come down on you, it's complete, and you can use it to get the get the uh, forgotten. But that's about it. Not a whole lot with that. This item, I forget what it's called because it's hard to pronounce. Really good. It starts exploring like the little poor poor stuff. Now we're starting to get yeah, we're starting to get the repentant stuff here. It's good. Poor shot sticks on them and everything. Really good. Too spooky for me is really good too. Prevents enemies from chasing you down and stuff. Um, it kind of scares them off when they get close. I think it happens every time, too. Golden Razor. It's going to be in the F tier. Very similar to Razor, but a little bit worse. You have to use money in order to gain power from it. I guess if you have a bunch of money, you can generate you know, a lot of damage for a room, but then it's like... Very tedious. This brimstone thing is a S tier two. It's a space bar brimstone. If you can't find the real brimstone, it's a pretty good alternative. Yeah, fortune cookie. I'm gonna put that as a. I'm gonna say B tier because you don't always get like soul hearts or cards and stuff like that. You may get a lot of sarcastic like dry fortunes but when it does proc you can get the soul hearts but then it's not useful for other characters other than the characters that can get the health like that so you got this multi-eye thing i'm going to put this as a c you, you randomly spread out tears around around you and it doesn't do a whole lot of good so maybe like um maybe hitting occasional enemy or doing whatever, but it could also be dangerous too. You don't have the right tiers. This one's really good. 15 volt or whatever it's called. Because uh, if an enemy gets near you or whatever, then you can damage them. This one's okay. I think it gives you like a tears up somehow. 
I mean, that's like probably one item I kind of like forgot what it did. But I know it gives you some kind of a tears up for doing a certain action. I think. Almond milk. I'm going to say A range. Because it's really good with the tears, but the tears would be wonky. And you could severely decrease your damage. <coughs> but you could do all sorts of crazy stuff if you can, like, control it. Now we got rock bottom. I've been talking about that quite a bit here. S range. Keeps your stats stable. You can do so many different things to break the game with your stats. It's, it's insane. Pills, whatever the heck you got. It does never decrease your stats. Always up. These uh, special bomb things in S tier. You can have random bomb effects and they can be very useful. Shot speed and uh, tears up is really good with this bar of soap. Blood Puppy, I'm going to put it as a D tier. The only reason why I put it as a D tier here is because... Um, I'm going to stand up here, by the way. Is because... If you got something like Nod Leaf, you could do a bunch of damage. Uh, with them. Just have them procced and just sit in the corner. Get, it can eat up enemies pretty nicely. It can get to two different. It can go three different sizes: small, medium, large. If it's large, it can go through rock and do a lot more damage, and do everything else. All right, this uh, Dreamcatcher. We're we doing on time here with the music because the music's already at the at the house music stuff, so home music. Or is that credit music? Sounds very similar. Let's see. Oh my god. We're almost done with the album here. Okay. Yeah, anyways, Dreamcatcher. I put it in B range. It gives you half a heart. You can see what kind of bosses there are. And you can see what kind of items there are in the item room. Especially if you're going down the old path stuff. Then you can, like, uh, see what the other item is. Candle, I'm going to put this as a B range too. Because it's only good as long as you don't get hit. You can get more and more tears as you keep going along here. Hi there. Uh -huh. Now, this is supposed to be like a shield thing. Angel shield thing. I'm going to put it as a C. You just double tap the fire button. And it uh, gives you kind of like a little shield thing to protect you from shots or whatever. <coughs> okay, let's see. This uh, cross thing. Put it in the D tier. I can see where it could be advantageous to have it. In minor occasions, it gives you a lot of damage the more red hairs it takes down every time you go down the next floor and stuff. Um cookie dough thing. I'm going to put this as a C range. It's got some wonky effects too, similar to like $3 bill and fruitcake, but I don't think it's as great. Orphan socks, S tier. Gets you some soul hearts if you can get soul hearts. Plus, you walk on spikes and they don't hurt you. I'm going to put this... Whoops. I'm going to put this as a B range. While it gives you some damage and some control, it, uh, it can, can, some be, sometimes can be a pain, but it's a lot better than marked. I'll say that. I think this is a Jacob Ladder. I think they renamed Jacob Ladder, the old one, to this. And... <laughs> playing this music too now um, so this ladder here it uh, S tier because you can go up and you can buy angel deal items guaranteed each floor as long as you get the money downside is if you don't have the money 
can't buy anything, you leave the room, you come back, you can't get back up there again. Alright, this is really good too, S tier. Something hard. It's it's really good as well because it can like do like an orbital tier effect. It's a little bit uh, more damage and it's I think it's a little bit of track into it and stuff. Angelic. This thing, I forget what it's called, but it gives you an aura. I think this is also a good S tier item. Angel item too. The closer they are into your aura, the more damage it produces. The spider is pretty good. A range. It gives you, I think every other shot is like four shots. And if you get hit enough times or whatever, and it's, then your head pops up and it turns to a spider and starts attacking and shooting at things. So that's not bad. Dirty mind. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it. It's a D range item. I get it. You destroy poops and you got little poop armies, but they're very weak. Even with the BFF and stuff. Democrees. Potential S tier. Year. As long as you don't get hit with a uh, with a uh, character that. Uh, has health, then you can benefit with double the items out of like boss rooms, secret rooms, if there's secret room items, uh, item, yeah, item rooms, things like that. But the downside is if it comes down, it'll kill you. Unless you have a, like a one up. Lemonade thing, same as like the other lemon thing, only it's got a little bit more AOE effect. That's that's about it. Not a great item. Spirit Sword, I'm gonna say this is an S tier too. Because you could do a lot of damage, have a lot of different like effects and stuff. It's mostly melee, of course. Red key. S tier. You could find secret red rooms, potentially, and get a little extra, like, goodies. Alright, Sci-Fly, S tier, definitely. Even when they nerfed it slightly, it's still really good. Really good. Alright. And we got this uh, mushroom thing. I put it a C tier because, I mean, it, 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 it's something up for the uh, for the people who are seizure prone. I mean, the game certain things in the game is seizure prone too, with your tier effects, of course. But then this is guaranteed seizure prone. It kind of bothers me if I push it too hard on there. I've had runs where it kind of kind of like maybe feel a little sick, but like not not like. Anything concerning or whatever. Echo chamber. I think this is echo chamber, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Rocket in the jar. D. Changes your bombs to rockets. I think the directional rockets are better, but it's just I don't really use them too much. And they're not entirely great unless you know how to use them, right? Of course, Book of Virtues is an S tier. You can get wisps out of whatever space bar you get out of it. Alabaster box. I'm gonna say an A tier. Only thing is it just kind of sucks you have to get a bunch of soul hearts, but then you spawn angel items <laughs> with it once you're done. Okay, now we got these freaking other signs here. I think this is the soul thing. You clear a boss room. I think that's what that is. Or it's the rock tier. I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry. Um, I think that's what it is. If you clear the boss room, then it uh, then it gives you like a uh, sun card effect, which is and it removes all the curses, which is fine, but it's whatever. 
Luna, I'm gonna say this is a B tier, it's a little better. Because each secret room you find, you go in the aura, and it gives you tears up each time you go in the aura. For each floor. It gives you the soul heart too. That's about it. But that one. Now this one. I think this is Saturn. Saturn's a little better. It it, it uh I think it's Saturn or whatever. It, it spins like these random tears, your tears in a circle, and then you can catch tears in your orbital plane. I think this is ice tears here. It's an S tier. You can shoot custom tears out of there. If not, it can freeze enemies, and it's pretty good high rate with that. Now this one, I think this one is the rock tier, which is also S tier. You can destroy rocks, and you can also get into secret rooms too. It causes a lot of damage. I think this one is the dash one, which you can get in and out of rooms without having to complete them, which is a great S tier. You don't have to complete a room just to get out. You can skip rooms. I think this is Saturn. Not Saturn, this is like another one. Farting one. Which is okay. It's a farting trail. And you're fat and it slows down your damage or whatever. Now I know this is Aquarius. I, I don't care for it too much. Let's see the D range. You just you have to charge it and whatever. Then let's see here, what else? I think this one makes you small, really small. It's a little better. And it does something with your tear height and everything. This one, I think this is like the love one. It gives you like a effect where if an enemy is nearby you try to fire on you, then it gives you a charmed effect on them. Finally, out of all these, and this one is, I, I'm, if I mix these up, I apologize, but I'm getting to a point with some of these things. Um, What the hell does this one do? I'm gonna have to look here. <laughs> one second. Look this up. Oh yeah, there's a dash. That's right, that's the last one I forgot, dash. And that's not dash, but whatever. I'm gonna say D, D range too, because it's just like, again, not great. You can double tap and you can avoid damage and you can do damage to an enemy. Extra curse rooms, I say a C. You get extra curse rooms, enough said. Get, this increases your tier rate as a regular. Give it a C range as well. Oops, I, uh, oh shit. Oh my god. One second here. There. Oh my god. Come on, there we go. Yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, I put that item there. All right, let's see here. Now, act the contrition, that, that's okay. 
I give it a, a B. Gives you a modest, um, a modest tears up, but it also takes away any issues you have with you or the devil president stuff. So it allows you to get angel deals again. Membership card gets an A, an S tier. You can find alternative items in the shop, even if uh, there's a greed in there earlier. Battery pack, it's, it's just whatever. D, you can use it different situations if you got certain items that break the runs. Mom's bracelet, D, you can destroy rocks or whatever. You can pick up little things. The scooper, I don't care for it too much. I'm sure, you can create eyeballs and stuff like that floating around. That's it. These tiers are really good. S tier. Um, creates little rift portals and you can suck enemies and clean their tears. <coughs> Boiled baby sucks. Just like with these other ones that just do boil of boil baby effect thing. Ice baby's S tier. You can freeze enemies or whatever or slow them down. Is eternal D6 A tier. We can occasionally destroy item pedestals. And you'll never get that thing again. This thick bird. We'll put it in the D range. It's a little better than dead bird. Because it can do like AoE effect and whatever. It comes down when you get hit. Um, yeah, this thing. It, um. Like, the more of a charge you have, the more you can use it. It can do a bunch of damage, but then that's the thing. It takes a bunch of stuff. This one's a little better. If you keep them alive, you can get some goodies out of it at, at the next floor. Blood bombs. D range. Especially if you don't have any more bombs, you might accidentally, like, use the bomb item and then you can lose health. And if you're the loss, it can kill you, too. Um, a little dumpy. I'm going to say F tier. Doesn't do a whole lot. And he can push tears away and kill you, especially with me with Mega State and Run. All right, um, this uh, it's uh, an eye item. I forget what it's called. Really good. It shoots a bunch of fires and it scales to your damage and makes it bigger. Lodestone, excellent too. S tier as well. As well. You could do. You could suck up enemies and whatever else. The tomato thing, S tier as well. You can draw it. Oh my god, not again. You can draw in a bunch of enemies as well. And it hurt each other. It's just this mouse has got so many buttons on here. I apologize. It was back and forth here. Birthright. Definitely S tier, especially since they did the update stuff, is really good. So many benefits with each of the characters. S to also Red Stew. Limited time damage up, but a huge buff, and it can help you with early floors. Oh, my music stopped. Oh my god. That was almost four hours. I'll repeat it then. And we almost had four hours here. Jesus Christ. I didn't think it would be taking this long for a Isaac item tier video. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, Genesis? Yeah, it's Genesis. I want to say an S tier here, too. Even though I haven't used it often, I know exactly what the purpose is with it. And it's really good. This key, I'm going to say this is the C range here. Whoops, that's not key, that's something else. C range. 
because you can open doors with using the with the object. You can use it to uh, break rocks, I think, too. Use it as a damage and things like that. And they can even use it to get into the flesh doors in the mausoleum instead of having the two knife pieces. But then it costs you keys, of course. Eraser, I say B tier. You can destroy, you can suck, a, uh, destroy, uh, erase an enemy for the rest of the run. Once per floor. It's pretty good. That's about it. Now, after they patched the uh, Esau stuff, cheesing them. And I think he, <coughs> I think he still could destroy <coughs> the uh, blue baby in the womb. <coughs> <laughs> Not the womb, but the um, hush blue baby, and I think it gets rid of them. All right, this uh, sorry, this deck thing, <clears throat> C tier. It spawns you random cards. I mean, that's it. Can be useful for like the uh, tainted or annoyed lost stuff. That's about it. The mega mush. Extremely good. A tier. Invincibility for a short time. Knife pieces. F tier. Because they're not fun to get. And they have absolutely no advantage unless you put it together. And you can do some little bit of damage, but not a lot. Ah, oh, yes. Death list. Not death list. Uh, death certificate. S tier. Pick any. Pick one item of anything of your choice. Really good. All right, this bot fly, very similar to the side fly. Now it's good, but it, it's pretty good. Nonetheless, Claver, A tier. You can chop up little enemies, especially bosses, and reduces their health by a certain percentage the more you use it. This one prevents any curses from hitting you, but that's in a little bit of luck, but that's about it. I believe this is Dogma. I'm gonna put this as a D range because you can't normally find it in the wild. I think you, I think you can only find it one of two ways. You go through the final chapter boss, which is the beast, and you automatically get it, of course. Or you use Death Certificate, which it gives you flight and something else with it, which I have yet to even like actually pick it up randomly in the wild. I could have used that certificate last time I used that certificate, but I was trying to get the 100%, so I can't do that. Couldn't do that. Now this ghost thing, I think it's called Purgatory, S tier. Step on the cracks, it could cause extra damage. Really good. Stitches, B tier. You can use it to get to different gaps if you can't reach the certain items. And you can even use it to get into like, um, the trap crawl spaces things with the extra item you can't normally get to either, I believe. R key. Definitely an S tier item here. You start the run all over again, especially if you have like um, Echo Chamber and then you have like a certain card like. Um, I forgot the card name, but it it it, uh, it uses the spacebar item thing. And you can keep doing it over and over and over again, and do it ad infinitum if you're lucky enough to find those two items. But R key itself is really good. Knockout tiers. I'm going to say this is a A tier item. It can be a little tricky with them, but if you get like a really good luck upgrade, it can be really good. Yuck card. I'm going to say this is like a D range. It's only good if you got red hearts and you can get like rotten hearts out of it which you can spawn flies the more you preserve that heart and the more you clear rooms all right the vase i say is a b you have to kill things in order to get it to spawn in order know use the souls to like you know kill stuff with and fires it's okay Let's see what is this item right here oh that thing <clears throat> Akamakala Dad, or whatever it's called. 
Let's see if it's a D range. It does produce some tears randomly and stuff, but like, it has a trail, but it's about it. Magic Scan, I'm gonna say this is an A range. Whoops. A range. Because you can use it as long as you get the health. And if you had the lots, you could do it up to like, you know, over 10 times or something like that. And depending on what item, what room you use it in, it uses the pool based on the room you're in. All right, this is one is really good too here. S tier, gives you flight, gives you some soul hearts. If you can get soul hearts, and it gives you a Jedi Brimstone as an alternative form of firing. So you can keep getting the firing mechanism if you want. All right, this is a B range tier, the medallion, uh, because you could get good stats or really bad stats, depending on what is the lowest of the time. Let's see, what is this item here? Oh, that's the spider thing. I gave it a C range. Gives, gives you like this uh, teratoma, or whatever it's called. <coughs> Uh, familiar, they have it orbits around you, and then if it hits something, it spawns spiders, it spits spiders out, and then it respawns after so many time, so much time. Brimstone bomb. I'm gonna say this is an A tier. Basically, it just shoots brimstone tears. Beat the juice out of them is definitely an A tier. You get something like uh, Book of Shadows or something, you can like really charge that sucker up if you're going after a certain boss. <coughs> Let's see here. What the hell is that thing? What the hell is that thing? What the hell is that? Is that a pill crusher? What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's inner child. That's what it is. I think that's inner. No, that's not inner child. That's the way it is. Is that inner child? That can't be inner child. No, that's inner child. What the hell is that? I'm gonna give it an F range. I mean, it's probably not fair to do that, but like, I don't know what the hell that is. I never seen that before. If I have seen it before, I don't recognize it. Plum, I'm gonna give it a C. You can fly around, you can like do directional shots and hit people. C also for Plum Flute. Spawn Plum, but it's not entirely great at times. Bethlehem Star, S tier. You can find where your, bo where your boss is at by following the aura and you stay in the aura. You can do a bunch of damage and tears rate. Ice Baby. Honestly, it's a B tier item. It can hit enemies, may cause them to slow down or ice over or whatever. Depending on how fast it is and stuff like that, different stuff. This one. It's an A tier, uh, S tier. Yeah, you kill enemies and it has a chance to spawn like ghosts. Those ghosts can like uh, explode when you press the spacebar item. Bad PhD. I say that is a A tier. Cause yeah, even though you get the stats down, you get a bunch of damage with it. Just be careful not to use Libra with it. This dreidel thing, I just, I, I can't use it for the life of me, so I give it an F. It just, you just go out of control and, I mean, I guess the only thing that could be good with it is like, if you have, um, uh, say, uh, Unicorn Stump or something. This one isn't bad. I'm gonna say this is an A tier. 
If you kill an enemy, it shoots out little shots. It can hurt other enemies nearby. This is Micro Friends. I'm going to say this is a definitely an F tier. You got to get hit enough times before you spawn a bunch of them. But then I think they can only last so long as they're very weak. This one increases your tier shot size. That's about it. I'm going to give it a D range. This one is a little better. It can let you. It spawns you random portals, and you can use the portals to teleport to either an item room, um, secret room, or boss room. Now, Quince it should be an A here, because with Quince you can, um, like, um, oh, what do you call it? You kill enemies and they turn into little familiars. Random ones. Spike is a must. It's an A tier. Because you can turn invincible. After a few seconds, you can use that to get into like certain little spots you can't normally get to with characters because it's dangerous. This gluttony thing item. A tier. I'd say it's here eight well. Yeah, eight tier because like you get damage for every time you uh, pick up um, health items that, and it changes back and forth too. So it's really advantageous if you're trying to get some red hearts. Uh, okay, let's see. Guppies, I A tier. Not only you can see what's in the chests, so you don't get tricked by troll bombs or something, but you also you find out. Now with the new patch, uh, the keepers, and see if they got any goodies inside of them. Straw man, <laughs> a D. You can spawn a keeper thing. That's about it. Not a whole lot, and it has only so much health. I think it's a one-time use item only. I think too. I think. Dad's note, F tier. And a fun time doesn't really give you a whole lot other than get progressing through the floors um, for the beast fight. Sausage is an old stats up. Really good. Found in the secret room. This item. Option something. Something options. S tier. You can choose to either pick up this consumable or that one when it spawns. Candy heart, I'm going to say a B. Each time you pick up a red heart to fill up with this, then you get a little bit of random stats. It's a little scale thing. C tier, you can use it to pay for devil deals with money, and then I think vice versa with uh, um, using health and stuff to buy stuff in the shops. I think item rooms too. This is, uh. Oh, yeah, this one. C tier. You get that after you get a devil deal and you use the self sacrifice room and you get that item. And each devil deal item you skip, I think, then, like, not pick up anything. Like, at all. And you go to the next floor, you get a little bit of a damage upgrade. That's about it. I don't think you get flight. Spirit chain. C range. I forgot what it does. I'm going to look it up here real quick. Second, I apologize. Oh, the spirit shackles, those are what they're called. Upon death, Isaac turns into a ghost that's linked with. Okay, okay, that's right. Yeah, C range. 
it, it, when you get hit, you, you get spirit sh shackles. That's about it. This one's okay. This um, cracked door. If you get hit, it has a chance to, to show you where your secret room is, and super secret rooms, and the ultra secret room. And then I think it has a chance to spawn a random uh, red room if you're adjacent to it. This hard thing is supposed to give you hard containers. If you have an empty hard container and each floor you go through, it gets you another one. Not that great. Astro projection. I'd say maybe a B because it slows down things at first and gives you an extra hit. It lets you fly and stuff until the room's cleared. C section. I was just having fun with one run with this. I say it's an S tier. Real fun. A lot of stuff can go on with it. Oh, Abaddon is a, definitely a D. It uh, just does like an Abaddon effect. Montezuma. It's a little better. It's a C. It give you like poop brimstone, and but it's not like too controllable and stuff and whatever else. Little portal. I'm gonna say this is an F. <laughs> it sucks up random items. And then it just spawns you around a portal that may take you somewhere good or bad. Tentacle actually is an A tier item here. It spawns a random tentacle that can grab something, it can hurt them, and also slow them down or stop them in their path. Bone tiers, bone spurs, A range. Extremely great with putting little bones in the path. It can do damage to people that runs into it, uh, enemies. And pushes them back too. This ghost thing not as great as the other ghost thing. It chances to spawn red ghosts and chase things down. Enemies. I got in my throat. Sorry. This is S tier. Uh, F tier. Spawns wisp, but it takes a bunch of hearts just to spawn a wisp. But each time you do it, you get like more wisps as you keep spawning them. Uh, this locket is a, uh, a B tier. It's so hard you pick up, you get health, uh, you get stats. It's best friends thing, I'm going to say this is an A. You spawn a really good familiar. And it helps you to fight you on your side. Ender Child is definitely an A. It's a respawn ability. It makes you tiny, but you only have half a heart left. Glitch Crown, S tier. If you know how to use it, which I have to a point, you can get some good items. You have a whole variety of items to choose from from that point on. All right, the Bean, believe it or not, S tier. I've had so many run. I had so many occasions where it, that thing was like helping me so much. Like it's just crazy. It bounces enemies back and bullets and has a 50% chance to do it. Now this uh, this orb thing, it gets rid of some of the item pull mess that's bad. It gives you some better items. This one I have hardly used. I don't care for it too much, but it, it has some uses. It gives you like a spike sacrifice room in the devil deals. Uh, Alright, let's see here. This one... A little better, I give it a B range, these flies. Spawns here in orbital flies. If they get hit, then they uh, they turn into blue flies and then they build up again. This heart thing is okay. It gives you some like empty hearts and I think it's supposed to give you some stats with that. This one I'm gonna give it a D range because you have to get hit enough times to get some stats. And then it resets the next floor, just like with uh, Samson's thing. This one's really good. Salvation. It gives you um, the ability to um, create a holy light thing around you if you get into the aura. And the more times you get the hit, the, the larger the aura is. Um, 
gives you a lar larger range to go after enemies. This one's really good. It's not C section, it's something else. Um, it spawns the second boss, but the, the sec I think both bosses, they reduce their health, I think, a little bit. But then you kill off both bosses, you get an extra boss item. It's really good. Of course, these twins, really good too, S tier. So you have like triple the file power, but they do, they do a little bit less damage, but they're still pretty darn good. Well, there's Echo Chamber. Uh, this horn thing, I'm gonna put it as a C. You occasionally have the Azazel effect with the uh, Mega Brain Brimstone. About it. Echo Chamber is definitely an S tier item. I'm hoping they never no nerf it, but they will. They're gonna just try to figure out what would be the best way to nerf it. Alright, let's see here. Right now we got the ghostly chest thing. I'm gonna say it's a D. Doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Spirit of the Night spawns you a ghostly wisp thing each time you get hit. Not really great. Esau in the jar. It's your like, flip form of yourself, and it gives you like the ability to um, yeah, turn into a darker version of yourself, and then you can uh, yeah do whatever. You flip back and forth. The other side of you is darker, but then it has flight and stuff like that. This one's really good. Um, Berserk. You get enough energy with Berserk, you can start hitting things, deflecting stuff, and everything. This is Spirit of the Night Sword. Not a Spirit of the Night, but it's the Night Sword from Tainted or Anointed Eden. It's not Eden, but uh, Judas is really good. Deflecting shots and dodging. This is the fly generator, which the fly generator, the flies have been changed to, the fixed up, so they have different kinds of flies. I haven't had a chance to, to play around with that yet, but I put that as A range because the flies are very potent if you got enough items sucked up for that. And this is the health item, so it's just like with the other ones. I'm putting this in the F range. It doesn't give you stats or anything fun. Stapler is definitely an A range. Gives you plenty of damage with that. Sumer Soplex, I'm going to say this is a D range. Still decent. It's a little better now if you get the, more, the bigger you are. Crafting bag. Uh, I haven't really used other than with uh, <coughs> Anointed Cane or Attainted Cane, so I'm going to put it as B. Because you can craft stuff, and you can actually craft stuff even with the characters, so that's still pretty good. It's probably still be pretty powerful. I'd say the flip honestly is an A, especially since they, how they've got that fixed for the other characters. You can flip it, get a different kind of item. Um, the pedestal. The Geminet, or whatever book, I say an S tier because you can use that to your advantage to spawn it into a, uh, a certain nut room and you get a certain like wisp, you know, of an item based on that room. Go out of control pretty easily. Let's see, what is this item right here? Oh, Septarium. I'm going to say a D range. I, I don't like using Septarium. I haven't really used it for anything other than the, the Tainted or Anointed Eve. The callback here, I think that's only for the Anointed or Tainted Forgotten. I. I put it as a B, because <clears throat> that allows you to pick up the skeleton like by calling it back if you have birthright. This jar thing sucks. It, uh, that you create poops or whatever, little random poop things. Grade sack, that's an, that's an S tier item. Get a little bit of a payout after you pick it up, and then each item you you pay for, you get a bunch of stats, and it could go out of control easily. 
All right, Keeper's Ken. It's a uh, <clears throat> an A tier. Get random spiders spawning out of the um, out of rocks and stuff. And if you bomb rocks, then you get also get like sp more spiders. This one's a D tier. You get like random shop items each time you use it, but maybe with a car battery and stuff, it'd probably be even better. Maybe. Everything jar, I'm going to say this is a D tier too because it's just all random and stuff, and you don't know what you're going to get. Now, you could probably see the same thing with TM Trainer, but I'm going to put it as a B because it's random and you can have some fun runs, or you can kill your run instantly. Kind of depends. I'm on a solo, I'm going to put this as an A. You see, chain enemies together outside of Esau. But if you, if, if you kill Esau with an anointed or tainted e, uh, Jacob, then you do other things with chaining stuff up. This dice, I'm going to say, is a B. You can roll stuff situationally based on like, how close they are to the item pool. This hard thing, if you get hit, you can have a chance to pick up the hearts. C tier, it's, it's not that great. You have to be damn fast in order to pick up those hearts, too. IBS, I've picked it up. I haven't had too many issues with it, but from what I was reading and stuff and seeing it, um, I say the D tier. This one, uh, I would say it's a D tier. Well, I. Oh, yeah, D tier, I see, because the whole sneezing thing it used to do a lot of damage, but now it doesn't anymore. But then it's like, I don't, I never use the sneeze thing often. And it's kind of annoying. You can push the enemies back and stuff, but that's it. The ghost tears, a ghost bombs. Definitely an A tier. You put the bombs down, it spawns these ghosts that chase them down. Jello, I never, I almost never pick up. It just sucks. I get what it does, but it's just, it spawns like a familiar that comes out, like with a tainted or anointed Lilith, <clears throat> and it just doesn't do a whole lot with damage or anything. And then we got uh, Isaac's decapitated head, D range too, I mean it's not really great, it throws me off and stuff. Now this eye thing, definitely an A, gives me some damage and whatever else stuff. Sty, I think gives me some range. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this as the B tier. This is the, yeah, this is definitely the newest of the new stuff here, that's for sure. And then finally, after all this time, Mom's Rain, which gives you damage and it also gives you a random ruin too. Now how about that? We did it. Jesus Christ, four hours and 14 minutes. Going on 15 minutes right now. So let's, uh, let's, let's examine this right now. So there's my tier list. S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier and F tier. I'm going to save this too just for fun. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed <coughs> my video with this tier list. I've talked about it before that I should be doing a tier list. I, uh, maybe I do a, uh, a uh, tier list for the. Um, oh, what is it? The tier list for the. Uh, trinkets and stuff, but we're going to see. This one took far longer than I thought it was going to be. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.